to episode four of the Overrated Truth Podcast. I'm your host, Lays. I'm by Drew. <laughs> Oh, you think you're right. That's the goal. Look at this comment. <laughs> yeah. On point. Man, I'm your host, Bad Luck, man. I can't Welcome get the... to the Overrated Podcast. Overrated Truth Podcast, man. What's up with y'all fellas, man? I can't get the E on my name for you said by Drew. <laughs> man, they give you a hard time about this fucking intro, man. And, you know, you got two performance artists, and then, you know, I can't hang with them, but here we go. I'm What's go- up with y'all? I'm a performance artist? You a DJ. All right. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Nigga, you know that. You that man scoop now, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, man. man how y'all doing, dog? I'm good, man. How you doing? I'm all right, dog. I'm okay. My Drew, you know, a little stressful, but other than that. Man, <laughs> stop it. This nigga had to have a shade on before we started. It's in my, it's in my contract. We literally an hour late because he was looking for a shade the whole time. So. Nah. <laughs> As he rolls his blunt. God. Hey, can I just say before we start the show? Because I'm not. I know this is not on the docket. I watched the last episode. <laughs> like, say, What's oh. on the docket for today? I'm like, I just used that one time because I, I was fresh off of listening to another podcast, and they said that and I thought it was funny, so it naturally came out. Uh, some unfunny shit. Funny I just shit. be thinking if you like, <laughs> luck, could, natural. luck could randomly <laughs> turn British at any time. On the docket at any time. <laughs> Well, anyway, I just got to say. First of all, <laughs> first of all. <laughs> he was rolling right out of it. The word docket was the only unusual word. I think. Don't try to bring, bring up my first part of the sentence. <laughs> Still the docket. <laughs> oh, shit. Like I said, cheerio or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> I felt that. Now, what you saying, though? Cause I'm not important. Really uh, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what you it were saying. <laughs> Jabrowski treatment. No, I'm like, what you? I don't. I don't think we have a. I don't know what our segments are, but I know uh, we don't have a sports one from what I think. So I just want to say. I think I got my people's want to do one. LeBron, you growing on me, brother. <clears throat> you called up Clipper, Clipper Darrow and made him wear the purple and gold. That was golden. You called up, you text Lance Stevenson and brought him to the team. That's my player. I didn't know you did that. <laughs> you think LeBron didn't do that? You, you know I didn't nigga, did know. You That's the magic part I'm about was to get LeBron. I'm about to say, nigga, did you <laughs> everybody match else was LeBron. Everybody else was LeBron. <laughs> nigga, if, if magic, LeBron said, nigga, I'm not coming to the team unless I know what's going yeah. on. <laughs> like, oh, okay. I'm not going to pop up with no surprises. <laughs> That's not happening. Well, I, 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 I called I'm it about like, two okay. or three weeks ago, though. Melo's coming to Lakers. It's no, crazy. no. I, I, Okay. No, that's that's my that's I said where I draw two or three weeks ago. Let's let's do the show because that's terrible. That, in, a, in other but news, but I mean, but so, no, nah, but since we on LeBron, I will kind of go. You know, the big one of the big news. Well, as far as LA goes, the whole mural. By uh, Minson one and um, who's that? What's the artist? I think it's Min, who's the, uh, so I think it's Minson one. I don't know his name. Minson one. What's it? Yeah, Minson one. Uh-huh. And uh, I forgot the other artists. Uh, but, uh, you know, they had the King of L.A. Uh-huh. mural, and um, it was just pretty big. It ended up hitting the news and all that, whatever. Then, you know, it's L.A. natives, like, you know, we can be tricky when it comes to Lakers shit. So they kind of vandalize it. We treat the Lakers like hood business. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. They treat the Lakers like hood business. Somebody vandalized the shit out of it. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And um, so what happened was I, I noticed that because... Because uh, the artist, I followed the artist, uh, and so he was talking about how LeBron, they had a Blaze Pizza party, and LeBron was supposed to go yeah. to one of the Blaze Pizza Now, was he City supposed West. to go, or did he? No. Well, he, he, th- he I think he was he just giving t- out free he pizzas. Did right. He tweeted. He tweeted, but he tweeted, I guess, with the tweet, but it got, the tweet kind of implied, like, I will kind of be there. He, now, he didn't say it, though. Was, was it like, see so yeah. like, like, no, he No, he didn't say, like, hey, he just said, uh, is, what do you say? Am I going to, some about, uh, Pizza party at Culver City, something like that, you know, because it was hitting that he was supposed to go, and he tweeted that. But anyway, I don't know if he, I don't think he was there. I'm, sure, I'm not sure. Uh-huh. No, but, I, th- uh, I think him not showing up. See, Magic Johnson, our influence already kicking in. <laughs> Why you say that? Come on, man. I'm from here, mm-hmm. LA. We're in Los Angeles, California, mm-hmm. and I'm from Los Angeles, California, for the most part. And I've been to the rave, formerly known as the Magic Johnson <laughs> Theaters, for years. And before you watch every fucking movie, you he see. give you a speech about saying, watching a movie in your own community, I know I will. Mm-hmm. I've never seen Magic Johnson at the Magic Johnson Theater. Never seen him at Fridays so either, man. I don't expect LeBron mm-hmm. to be a LeBron pizza either. 
Yeah. That's how I brought that together. I feel like Maddie yeah. told him specifically, like, don't be showing up to shit, man. He's too big for that. I don't think LeBron needs to hear that from Magic. He's been on the fucking spots. I don't <laughs> know if he should have been anyone. Else. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but about the mirror, about, about the mirror, what's interesting was, you know, people had vandalized it and then some people, the people were in the middle feeling a way about that. But, um, I noticed that when I seen the mirror again, he had posted it again. So they cleaned it up. But this time, they took the of out of off of it. And you used to say King of LA. So the artist redid it and then took the of out. Right. Because people were pissed about that. Like, when you're the King of LA, you're in LeBron James, the King. That's your moniker, your name. And you happen to be in LA. So they kind of separated that. That's like that. That's like that. a new look. We took the of out. Well, you know what's funny? Because we had some artists here from Atlanta last night. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Man on the Plug and uh, Trude, who were here over the weekend recording. Mano, Mano? No, Mano the Plug is a DJ from uh, South. Oh, so he Mano too? Lil Mano. Lil <laughs> he Mano, Mano, Mano too. Lil Mano. Oh, okay. I don't know. Okay, but, okay. Uh, and uh, <laughs> we were talking about hip-hop and just, you know, the difference in the regional hip-hop. And I was telling him, I'm like, dude, New York always boasted king of New York mm -hmm. and it's always been somebody who claimed they the king of the South. Mm -hmm. That ain't even an L.A. thing king of. <laughs> they get you sniped. <laughs> you know what right, I mean? So right. It's that brand real trying to transition yeah. it real quick. Yeah, that's so right. funny what we have regionally a problem with. That's a problem. King of. Motherfuckers right. in L.A. here, king of. Yeah. No, it's a whole different You can't story. be the king of the Los Angeles kings. Like, you can't. Right, right. No. <laughs> no. It ain't none of that. It's, it's it's, no. it, we, never, we never call Kobe king. Never no. called Kobe King. We LA. never called Kobe King. No. Nobody ever all been kind of king. We, Magic, we never gave him King of L.A. Magic, Magic was a representation of Showtime, what L.A. was. He, he was Showtime, but we never said, hey, Magic is the king of... No, we very different about that. Right. Giving one nigga all his power. I, I remember I had a song years ago called Ain't No Kings in Cali. Talking about that specifically. Mm. Like, you know how you hear about these OGs? Like, you, like you hear about... Respect. You hear about uh, cats like Jay Prince with Houston. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, and I'm not saying ain't no other big time niggas came out of Houston. Obviously, they were. But you hear about Jay Prince being the nigga in Houston. Ain't no nigga in Cali you hear about being the nigga. Right. No. It's another nigga somewhere else that is the nigga too. And will loudly press that and vice versa. And, and most dudes <laughs> who are the dude, even in their little circle, when you talk to them, they be like, we the. <laughs> yeah. That, that gets you done undermine yeah. quick out <laughs> Right, right. Yeah, because it's... Me, out, my nigga, do do right. <laughs> we, we the... Yeah, out here is, you know, there's variations of niggas in different hoods. You, one nigga say he the king of, it's like, yo, there's 40,000 different hoods out here, nigga. Now you saying you're the king of all this shit, if you ever think about it. Like, niggas look at Big U and the rest of these niggas, like, it's not just Big U. It's more than that nigga. Yeah, gang, it's gang of, you know, legendary niggas are niggas who was in these streets holding down for a very long time and then make plugs around the world and had these names and you know these big, big time figures but it's a couple of niggas yeah, you know what I mean it's not, it's yeah, more we than do one. generals yeah. and OGs and every other form of ranking but we don't do no I ain't no king you advance the king like no no you don't, don't advance the king well to my, to my point about the mirror well, it's covered up now completely yeah, they, I think they, they, they covered they it covered it up all the way because uh, uh, people went over it again and again and so they, I think they just covered it up now <laughs> Let me ask you this question. Do you think it's a black person or a Mexican person? Ooh. I don't black people don't do that shit. Oh, okay. Racist. Ooh. <laughs> no, 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 no. But you notice, see, my political game is pretty together. Like, <laughs> I just said black people don't do that shit. <laughs> it's a gang of other motherfuckers out here that's not black. You pick them. I don't know. It ain't no Asian graffiti crew running through the hill taking down LeBron murals. I don't know. I don't know nothing. I know <laughs> that. Black people did. Oh, you gonna, you gonna PC it? Good job. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he want to. He, he want to use his media training now. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't is definitely media training. Professionally media training. No, I'm not. <laughs> I want to move on to something else. Whatever. Big time. Big. Actually, big news and a lot of controversy around it. Um, yeah, I heard about the uh, Delicia. Or was it Cordon? Cordon, whatever. I want to Cardone on. See if she's not like Italian. Say <laughs> so you put Cardone. <laughs> yeah, Cardone, 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 whatever, whatever. Whatever. And, uh, Lashawn McCoy, alleged situation. You know she was uh, brutally beaten, and her um, her mom's best friend, I think her cousin or something like that, I forgot, were the ones who outed it. Outed it. You know, with the pictures and all that stuff, saying that Lashawn McCoy was the one who put hands on her, and saying he had passed 
uh, issues with abuse with the dog. He beat the dog real bad and beat her son. I don't know if it was their son or her son. I'm not the sure dog. how that went. Or his son. It was, it was something forgot, like that. From, but it was a kid involved a while back, and a dog got beat real badly in her today. Or, yeah, or that Yesterday. Day. That whatever. Ha- whatever that happened. Um, <laughs> and, you know, went viral very fast because um, her, her, she, she was beaten terribly. Like, it was bad, all the way bad. She like Then he had put out a statement saying, you know, um, I didn't do it. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't seen him in months. Uh, they try, I don't know why they're trying to charge my name, but I didn't do that shit. I didn't see him in months. He, he said, said I he ain't has, seen him in months. He said he has no has no contact with them in months. He said months. He said he ain't seen him in months. But um, just to add to what you were saying, they also said this nigga was uh, doping up, using uh, steroids, yeah. uh, other legal Man. drugs, and all type of shit. All kind of shit. They say he was doing all kind of shit. Now, that's one of her words. These are the best friend, the mom, or and somebody else. Whoever, uh, whoever out it. Whoever out it. It wasn't, it wasn't a, she wasn't, she was in the hospital fucked up, but... It wasn't her words. Um, then a, a, a police report that came out saying that it was um, a home invasion. Right. Robbery. Saying that, you know, I think two suspects, I forgot two of ones where they came in and uh, and hit, you know, locked her in somewhere and then beat her up. and then, But they were asking for specific things, which led the police to believe that it was personal. And... Uh, What's the word I'm using for it? Was a it was intended for her. It wasn't like a random home invasion. It was like right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So now that gets tricky because the the um, the best friend or one of the friends anyway, one of the people that outed it had already said way earlier. She earlier that it was. She said earlier that it was set up mm-hmm. like that morning before that police report came out. When we first heard about it, the best friend and the other lady had spoke on it, and she said. Uh, she said, this is, my, this is my beautiful best friend. Her name is uh, uh, VA Rich Girl. She said, this is my beautiful best friend. I can't fucking believe, I can't fucking believe this. Sending a nigga in her house with no force entry to pistol whip and rob her for what? Now the world knows what we know. You will pay for this. You will not get away with this. She said that that morning when the story broke. So when the police had talked about home invasion sending somebody in, I'm like, well, damn, that's what old girl was talking about. That, so that morning here. Yeah, so people started hitting me up on my page because I had posted about it. It was like, man, see, the Sean McCoy didn't do that. So it was home invasion. I'm sorry, I, was, I was telling them, like, first of all, I never said he did that. I said, whoever did it is a piece of shit, basically, and deserve whatever he got coming to him for beating a woman like that. I, I, it was crazy is the, the sick response I was getting from men, mostly, obviously, was saying that, I mean, you don't know what happened. You don't really know. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. What I do know is somebody beat the shit out of her and she's fucked up. And I'm not with none of that. Who did it? I don't know. I don't know nothing about who did it. I never said he did it. I said, allegedly, this is the situation. I hashtag him and her because this is the situation I'm speaking of. These are the two people that are being questioned. I never said it was him, whatever, whatever. It's just fucked up. He was beat like that. I mean, she was beaten like that. And I didn't know how to answer. But people started hitting me up like, see, it's not him. And somebody robbed her. And I was thinking to myself, which I didn't respond anymore. I was like... Dude, I've been knew somebody. I I knew the story. I knew old I girl can, been saying that. Somebody, I can read. He sent some niggas in, whatever, whatever, whatever. Now he could be anybody, but somebody already know that somebody was sent over there for shit. Mm-hmm. Then it came out later that what that it was asking her specifically for was shit he got her, like certain rings and certain jewelry. Mm-hmm. He was looking for specific jewelry and specific specific things that he was already on file. She has took. I think they. She, um, she had. Uh, took him to court or something like that or would have subpoenaed him or something like that whatever whatever something happened with the courts where they filed that was already on record that he was trying to get these things back so it's just coincidence somebody coming in the house trying to get them you know what I mean this, these things like you know what I mean mm-hmm. you know that's like your girl want them, them glasses them, them glasses you got 50 shades she's like oh no, no nigga, nigga, I I want, nigga where, the, no, where the ones at you're like why you want them like how you even know about them right. it's just get fishy you know what I'm saying and I, like I said I don't know who did it man but it's fucked up and what's sick is that's like I said that's another story that I heard about whatever but what's cold is the niggas in these comments like these dudes is I understand no and I should don't understand it uh, people always side with shit look man just because you a man don't mean you gotta side with men cause you think bitches is crazy and I'm saying quote unquote this is what people are saying <coughs> or you think a certain type of shit bad shit titties and all that stuff like that she like Oh no, she probably wants some bread or whatever, whatever. I'm like, damn, she can't help that she look good as a motherfucker and 
She fuck with a ball player who goes after the girls who look good as a motherfucker. Right? Uh, I don't want to speak to that part because what if she just a gold digger? That's a real thing too. What if she, no, her, but... what if she is? What I'm saying is, how did you just say that first? How do you go straight to that? Like, how do a nigga be like, man, I don't know, I don't trust these bitches, whatever. I'm like, man, all I know is she fucked up for real. That's what I do know. Mm-hmm. I know for a fact somebody beat the shit out of her. Right. That, that's the only fact I know. I don't know nothing else about who did what. Right? I know th- somebody did this and I don't look like a girl did it. Her, she's fucked up. Right. So my thing worse, is... Because I, I haven't seen the picture. So worse than the Rihanna picture? What? Hell what, yeah. Nigga, dog, this is half... I got another picture too. That's half of it. Nigga, she was fucked up. Yeah, she's... Like, and she was out. Yeah, that shit is bad. Like, nigga, it's bad. Like, so I'm, I'm saying to myself, like... I'm saying to myself, like, uh, what's wrong with you niggas? Like, y'all don't know nothing. Even one of my homeboys was saying, he was like, man, you know, you can't trust these chick men. He, he probably tried to ask, get out the house and then she... All of a sudden, trip or whatever. I said, my nigga. I said, or he really beat her ass. Or or that happened because he said he was like, or he was said he was like, or you know, what if she, what if, what if something else did happen, whatever, whatever. Yeah, you're right. What something if? else could happen. What is the other way? But how did you? Because I never did. How did people just go to the side? It seemed like men with the one side, women go to the other side, right? Men like, man, I don't trust these bitches, man. They, they, he, nigga, you living that life and all of a sudden, uh, he said, you lived it like the whole... No, one nigga was like, you lived this like the whole time of luxury and all that stuff. Now, all of a sudden, you want to talk about all this shit. What does that got to do with her looking like that right That's now? It. Nothing at all. That's my only argument. That's literally my only argument. That's it. Like, who well, did that to her? That. Who did that? That's it. I don't, I don't know about the story. I don't know. Man, men and women lie. Throughout history, women lie and men lie. Right. Women be lying, saying niggas be raping them. Sometimes niggas don't be raping them. Mm-hmm. Niggas be saying these chicks be a lot on it. Sometimes these niggas be beating and raping these bitches. Mm-hmm. Right? And when I, I'm using the words they using. Right. Right? So my thing is, if I don't know, how do I just go to one side? Because I think, quote unquote, bitches be lying. Like, that's what's fucking me up. Like, damn, nigga, we don't even see... But if it was your daughter, you immediately believe her. And your daughter could be one of the liars. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's where it gets tricky. That's the only thing I'm saying about the, what's sick about the comments is that, you know, people tend to sway these moody sides because of whatever the industry showed them, whatever society, Instagram, social media showed them, or the type of, if you live this type of life, you're supposed to be accepted of anything. No. Right. I mean, but that's the, culture, be... that's the culture we're in now, too, because <clears throat> think of every dude who ever walked out on Maury. Mm. People, wow. not, people believe in the girl when the pattern we know. Maury want to show you a girl who is is lying more than he want to show you a season full of women who was like, I knew it was Jonathan. Right, 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 right. Yeah, <laughs> we all knew it was him. Right? Yeah, a season of that is a failed season. Right, right, right. He right, might right. even yeah. get picked up again. Right, knowing that every time mm-hmm. the whole crowd. He come out, but nigga come out full suit, accountant. Mm-hmm. Boo! Ah, ah. Until it's like, you are not the father. Then it's ah, ah. right. So all DNA testing literally is in. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. So I think you're right. People tend to go with their side and exactly. try to justify. Because when I thought about it, I think, okay, my scenario was like, okay, you probably sent the niggas over there, and the niggas probably went too far. That's, yeah, that's a lot. Like, yeah. go, like, man, I want my shit. You feel what I'm saying? You got money. Mm. Go get my shit. Fuck that. You sent the wrong niggas. Mm. And they went over there on some movie shit mm. and did way too much. Right. That's a possibility, too. That's definitely that's where, where he wrong, but you also wrong because you put a set of situation in that you couldn't control and it got right, out of right, control. Right, right, it's, right. It's something that can happen. Yeah. Or... He didn't do none of it. About say, or, or two that, random niggas walked in and did overdid overdrive. That, or, or she, or she set it up herself. There's different ways we can all look. Now look, now or I, had, I had a conversation with when niggas with money talk a lot sometimes. Right. Like she got my. You been telling your niggas this. You done broke up for a right, right, amount right, of time. Right, right. They think the coast is clear to go do some mm. shit. They think you like fucker, so you ain't tripping and go in there and try to get the shit that they know of. And some of the shit that they could sell back to you right. or show you some favor or whatever the fuck. So, man, you know, I mean, figure that out. It was one guy, get better. That's it's one guy that kind of ended up blocking this nigga, but it's one guy in the comments <laughs> that uh, he was saying how he's like, man, how you know she didn't beat herself up, right? And I know cases of, you we know cases of women hit themselves and mm-hmm. do shit like that, but this one I'm not rolling with that. It's just my opinion, you know what I mean? Um, 
I've seen girls hit themselves and do shit like that. I got homegirls that did wear that shit like that. Fuck their eye up or did some shit, wear that shit. But you can only inflict so much pain on yourself to your fucking face and head before you stop reacting to that shit, right? The way she looks, nobody can get all the way like that. And then you, that you mean you have to be damn near hitting yourself, whatever, whatever, until you completely pass out and fucked up. She fucked up her whole shit. Like, it looked like eyes fucked up, broken jaw, lips, no, saw, head swole, swole, nose up. broken. Like, how much can one person inflict on themselves before they pass out and go into a state of, it's fucked up? Like, that's what, I, that's what, that's what I'm on. I'm not saying it's impossible. What I'm saying is it's not likely. It's not likely. I've seen women hit themselves with stuff. Break their jaw, they go in, talk about the nigga broke my jaw. But the way she looks, somebody pummeled her. Right. You know what I mean? Nigga, tell me, how many you know it's not a car crash? You nigga sure will find a million excuses instead of saying, what if the nigga did it? Fuck the nigga, which nigga was. What if a man did this? Yeah. What if that happened? That's what I'm talking about. I'm like, dude, y'all, you are creating, I, I did a post about that, you are creating gray areas for physical abuse, and it's fucked up. It, it's, it's fucked up. Because it's like, dude, you, that's why, and then the flip side is, when girls don't step up, right? When they hold this shit because the world won't believe them. When they be, when they be, when they're raped or molested or beaten by their husbands and all this shit like that, they don't step up because they were celebrities. Celebrities, they're gonna be shunned by the world. They, people gonna joke about them and not believe them. Then y'all say y'all should have stepped up. Why you never saying nothing? What is why? Because when I say something, you motherfuckers tell me I'm lying, and y'all make jokes about me and, and embarrass me and, and shun me and. And make me look out to be a hoe in the public or a gold digger. That's why we don't. Yeah. That's the other ugly side of it. You know what I'm saying? So I think I think for us men a lot of times, we got to really buckle down and put that bravado shit to the side and really look into that. Like, look, my nigga, most of these women don't step up because they're terrified. Mm -hmm. Why aren't you naturally thinking about that? Like, if you live in a house with a man who's beating the shit out of you, I told this one guy, I said, most likely the words I will kill you came out of his mouth sometime. Whether he would do it or not, we don't know, don't but know. we know niggas yeah. like to rule in fear. Right? At that point, it's not respecting. Because your control over women is not, uh, it's not respecting. It's, you're trying to fear Brenda's relationship. So if you've been beating her and instilling her that she will kill her, she probably believe you. But let, let me throw this out there. Because mm -hmm. we have a conversation about the shit and I'm always about accountability, and I'm not talking about this. I, I got it, got it, got it, got it. All right. I, get, I understand you got to be clear about, about that too, right? Woman. Right, right, right. I'm talking about. So last week, mm -hmm. we put the accountability on the men, on mm -hmm. the young men. Mm -hmm. We took time out to say, look, all the play fighting, all of the like bro shit that you're doing to females nowadays, that lead to. Drama, bullshit, right, 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 right. play fighting, yeah. all that shit lead to something else, right? Mm -hmm. So as a dude, you know, you don't got to get that off on a woman. Right. And as a guy, you also know, like, play fighting and slap fox boxing and all that, that type of tomfoolery, fuckery, whatever, you could do with your, with your boy. Mm -hmm. You're a young dude. Oh, nigga, boom, boom, boom. You do all that. Mm -hmm. You get that off. You might get into a few real fights or whatever, and there's a space for that. Right. Right. So, flip side. You in a relationship with a guy. This is to ladies in general. You in a relationship with a guy. You like playing punching on him. Mm. You like... So there's that element to deal with. Then there's an element that I'm not frowning on, mm -hmm. but it's getting compounded. Choking and beating up during sex. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with it. But it's getting compounded. Right, right, right. Then we go into certain women, and I've had this experience. Uh, the first time you give them any, I know you better shut the fuck up. It start being a thing that they showing you they like and respond positively to. Mm -hmm. You ever had that? Like, damn, my girl kind of want me to bully her. I don't know what she was in before, but she kind of want like... There's a little snickery, smiley. I never experienced whatever. that, but I know exactly what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. And then there's, so there's, you start playing that role and getting into that. I know you better get your ass the fuck home. I bet the fuck you won't. Mm -hmm. I kill your ass. Jokes. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> jokes, right? Can you actually fuck around? And, All right, well, well, yeah. She joking like that too sometimes. Girl, he crazy. Feeling, you tell me to. Yeah. Girl, yeah. he want me to get there soon. It's kind of like he key, mm. but it's like it's intensifying. Right, right, right. And it's right. being compounded because you already got somewhat a physical relationship yeah. here and there, yeah. whatever. And the man is feeling more manly by it. Mm. Get get home. Like you ain't able to do nobody like that. Now you in your feeling your yeah. own. Right, right, right. It's a thing. If you're a young man, you know what mm. I mean. In some of these cases, it's like, dude. And you'll find yourself in a situation. I, real life. I'm about to go real life. Mm. I got a call from a chick at one point in life. What's your IG name? I'm fucking with you. And she like, uh, uh, man, what's up with you? Like, I want to fuck with you. I've been wanting to fuck with you. What's up? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, okay. You know me. I, I, I'm me. So I'm like, she's like, you know, I liked you for a long time or whatever. I want, I want to fuck with you. I'm like, okay, well, what would I get out of that, right? So she's like, what would you get out of that? Well, you know, I do this, I do that, I cook, I clean, I'm sexual like this, da da da. And before the conversation was up, she was like, you can anime me, you can da 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 da. I'm like, anime me? Crazy. What the fuck does anime me mean? Right. Like, I got British. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn. And I'm like, all right. Wow. I'm not looking for that. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. But it comes across as a level of humble damn near, mm-hmm. even though it's confused humble, mm-hmm. that make you, somebody go, okay, I'm, I don't necessarily want that, but I want to fuck with her based on that. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Like, cause she's so damn, that's really my bitch. Like, mm-hmm. I could do whatever I want to or she, she fucking with me mm-hmm. type of situation. You feel what I'm saying? And then somebody else took that as a great invitation. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, somebody else would have been like, yo, I can do whatever that's, I want to. Oh, yeah. And that's not you the first time. That's kind of sick when you think about it. Yeah, like, like, but, oh, shit. No, no, I'm saying just the fact that somebody thought that on their own to say that about somebody else. Because when you think about anime, it's what we know of that, which basically just the movie, right? Right. That's some sick shit to be. That's what he can do I, to you. I know chicks like that <laughs> who've told dudes, like, right. look, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. If you feel like you gotta beat me, like or whip me with a belt or whatever, that's cool too. I'm not making that up. I know people. I know the whole right. relationship of both parties. Right, right, right. Talked about it with the homie. Yeah. Talked about it with they both homie a homegirl got together, mm-hmm. and I got a chance to have the full conversation with both of them. Mm-hmm. You know, before during when he was in it, mm-hmm. after when they were out mm-hmm. of it, when I talked to her, and like, how do you not when you a certain type of guy? Weak guys, a lot of times, mm-hmm. how you don't take that that opportunity when it's given to you and played it like that, right? Right. Not a good decision. Right, right, right. right. But now you're making it too easy to make a bad decision. So some of the like get down between women, like what you expect from your man is for him to be a man, and he should expect the opposite from you. Yeah, it's, it's you like feel what I'm saying. It's like you got to kind of put. Um, it's like you got to put these parameters up with certain things, because uh, because it's kind of like. You know, you ever heard the saying like, uh, "You don't want to." Okay, it's like Pandora's box, right? Right. You right, know, right. It's like it's like you know, you don't want to open it up because, you know, the flip side is you don't want to. What comes out of it might fuck you up, but you, what might fuck you up is finding out about you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Exactly. <laughs> Where you didn't need yeah. that offer. Yeah, you didn't need. Right, right, right. Or, or men you know? between us, we have it when the hunt. When somebody go, you joke with somebody, and it's your boy, and he go, "Oh, look, bitch!" You're like, "Whoa." You just talk about that. That's a door. We just talking about that. To me and a my whole different get down. Me and my father was just talking about the how, how, not to go deep into that, but how that that changed the doc. I naturally know. We all joke all day long, all of us, right? But I, in my mind, it's embedded. I know that no matter how we play, me calling you, any one of you niggas, the bitch ass niggas out, it's not gonna happen. You never hear it coming from me. Oh, I'm sorry, you bitch ass nigga. That's it. Don't even sound like a joke no more. You're absolutely right. But, you know what I'm saying? It don't sound like a joke anymore. It's, it's right. like it's, it's, it's you get to you get to this. Uh, it's like you naturally know. It's like it's like me growing up young. I grew up around Crips, so you know I naturally say cuz a lot. Or when I get mad, or it tend to come out. But when I really when I start to get older and realize it wasn't natural, it's because I would be around Bloods a whole lot. My best friend, whole family Bloods. I'll be around Bloods a whole lot and not say it one time. I don't give a fuck if I was drunk, uh, mad, yeah, whatever it was. So how do I how do I stop myself from saying it then? Because I'm like, oh, it ain't natural. You know, you just doing you're shit. You just doing it because you, like, you, you, just do, cause you, you know your comfort comfortability of your, your neighborhood, right? But you know exactly never to let it slip when you were somewhere else 
that you don't supposed to let it slip at. So back to the men thing with the women thing, yeah, that's 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 a that's a quote unquote quote, slippery slope dealing with that because if a girl told me that, um, oh yeah, I like to be Annie Mae, stuff like that. In my mind, I'm like, yeah, I don't like none of that. Yeah. Like because I'm looking back at the back of the whole movie, like that's nice. First of all, I'm turned off by that the movie. Now I love the movie. I'm saying like I didn't like what was told the story of how I Turner did. Tina Turner. Yes, we know it wouldn't be no Tina Turner I Turner, but we're not getting to all that. But I didn't like the whole that. Like, because all I know, uh, okay, beat her at game times and rape her at game times. Piece of shit, right? Um, and th- just the story of what I know about what happened when, what in this movie. Yeah. So, if you telling me I can do that, I don't want to fuck with somebody who wants somebody to do that. Because, ne- like, I, we already got our own little issues that go on in a... That we deal with in ourselves, society. right? Society, and then you know, being a being a black woman and a black man, and what, you know, things we grow up go through when being a in, in certain kind of families or certain kind of elements geographically, whatever. So, I I don't want to deal with that outright. If I know that about you, like that's shit you find out. You have sex with somebody, then you have sex with a girl, then you fucking her, fucking her, then one day she wants you to choke her, right? Then one day she wants you to smack her, then smack her harder, then smack her harder. Then leave right. a bruise. Then leave a bruise. Ah. And then, so it started to get to it. And what happens is, so you thinking, if, if you're not into that, right? You thinking, she weird. She got, she weird. Like, and she weird. She into this shit. But you ain't realized, nigga, you the one just did it, though. You did it every you time. You did it every time. You look what you getting into. It's like, oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Boom. Look, like, what you, look what you getting into. That's why so, everything so, got a starting point. So how, so how, so you said compounded, right? Which is ill as fuck because now you got all these things that had nothing to do with Direct negative physical abuse, right? right? But when you flash and get mad, your brain kind of just doesn't really know where to pick from, mm. right? So now you flash and then you slap her, right? Because you used to hitting her. It's not really far fetched. Sure. But you never hit her in this light. But you and you haven't hit her when you're mad. So controlling how hard may not be a thing you're gonna do anymore. Exactly. You probably just let it fly. You hit man. Boom. Denzel and. He, Denzel and he got game. Man, exactly. Wow. The mom, yeah, right. And then you find yourself. How you know? You know? Okay, this is ill. This is I'm gonna break this down, right? This is ill as fuck. And I'm not making an excuse for men who abuse women, right? But I do believe. I'm talking about thinking of that. What, what Badru was saying. What, what we bring? How breaking this down, right? Of how that happens, right? Thinking about how many times a uh, man has abused a woman, right? No matter no matter how brutal it was, it was just he did, and then. Right after that, we've seen the movies where he cried, hold her, I apologize, I'm so sorry, right? Because sometimes people flash, yeah, right? Shit gets out of control. Shit get out of control. Yeah, he flashed, and then is that. Now, you know, women, especially nowadays, you know, everybody is, I'm not going to, for lack of a better term, sensitive. I don't mean I don't mean to say that, like, abuse is not a serious thing. It's not sensitive at all. Some We're not even talking about the dudes who we're not even talking about, just want to beat your ass. No, we're not talking about no, 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 no. We're, not, we're talking about motherfuckers making mistakes out here. Yeah, because yeah, girls and, do it too. Girls and flash and then I got a video on my phone right now of some girl uh, trying to beat her boyfriend. I'm going to post it too, actually. She's beating her boyfriend because I guess he has said some shit about being single. Maybe he got caught doing something he wasn't supposed to be doing. But she's really like jumping at him, like socking him and shit. I'm like, See now, that's the shit. The ca- the caption and the comments don't reflect the outrage that if this was the other way around, I couldn't even post no video um, with a, a man beating a woman gets, and then try gets, to get a joke off. First of all, I'll get flagged from IG. First of all, I get flagged, my G. It yeah. wouldn't even be up there a long time, right. right? And then the women would tear me apart. Oh yeah, right. Um, and, and but I would that would never that would never happen. I would never be on the side of that, right? But if I post a girl beating a nigga. The nigga's gonna call him a bitch. Oh, he's a punk. Some of the girls will. Oh, he's a pussy. Why? He, hey, I wouldn't let no nigga do. I let no girl do me like that. Whatever, whatever. I'm like nigga. That's first of all. Let's start with the first problem. Why is she that's, hitting him? Yeah. We didn't attack the same thing, right? On oh, man, we immediately say, look at this nigga. He's a monster. He need to die. Whatever, 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 whatever. Let a woman do it. They attacking him for being too sensitive for letting her do it. Yeah. Flip side of that is right. What are you supposed to do? What do you want him to do? What will make you happy in this instance? Oh, he should hear back? Because now we're dealing with the other problem again. Because I'm going to tell you right now, the classic, uh, you think you're going to wrap her up with the arms around the arms self thing? Right, right, right. That's to get you in jail, too. It never happened to me, but I've heard the story. Totally. Yeah. Totally. But at, at the end of the day, 
like it's two sides to it's it's three sides mm-hmm. to every story and all of them true. <laughs> right, uh, right, great job. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, and one part is we all gave him the look like don't fuck this don't up, fuck man. It, don't fuck it up. <laughs> hey, only intros. <laughs> but you know. It comes down to, yeah, you got dudes who they got a problem and they just aggressive like that yeah. and they fighting, they woman, they fighting anyone. Mm-hmm. Then you got weak dudes who that, that's their only outlet is to try to, they wouldn't put their hands on nobody but they woman. Right. right. And you got dudes who fell into some shit and turned around and next thing you know they was beating their woman ass. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why I don't play with, now I don't, I don't even eat Mike and Ike candies. Explain. What? Mike and Ike. <laughs> No, this is a lie. You're lying. This, Ice is, a, Ice Ice this Ice. is a lie. Yeah. You are ridiculous for that. I don't start nowhere. I don't fuck with it. And at this all. is cold because then, then we like we got to juggle which mic. Then I see that's, that's tricky. Uh, that's tricky. See, double entendre. <laughs> Look, hope wins again. Mike and Ike. Look at this candy. But basically, bottom line to that is, man, to cap that off, you know, just don't put your fucking hands on people. Yeah, don't. Just, that yeah. Say, just don't put your hands on people. Though. Yeah. I've never been a type. I never, ever, ever. I got slapped one time by one of my girlfriends years ago, and I felt like shit. I immediately walked away, and I was still with her after that, like a dummy, because I was young. That was the first time, I was maybe about 15, 16. So she was young, 15 and 16. I'm abusive as fuck, obviously. Um, but that was the last time I ever was hit again, ever in a relationship, and I never put my hands on a woman ever. You know, I just say, don't put your fucking hands on people. Both ways. Do not do it, man, because it's bad. You know, it's funny how people, uh, uh, you know, girls say, um, you know, uh, uh, I always say, man, don't put your hands on men because, you know, men are just naturally stronger and stuff like that, whatever. Well, I don't give a fuck. I, whatever. I say, look, man, I, I okay, I get that, right? But once you beat up, yeah, it's fuck him. Yeah, he did that. Fuck him. He a monster evil, but you already beat the fuck up. I don't want you beat up at all. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just walk away. And for the dudes, man, who got, dudes got, a lot of dudes got a lot of problems, but a lot of females got, I t- look, real quick before we out, I got to say this. Uh, one of my partners was telling, um, my homegirl, my homegirl, one of my homegirls pulled up on the scene where the gang of niggas was at, right? And she liked one of the guys that was there. What's up? Who's that? Who's him? The homie told her, hey, that's such and such, but I'm just let you know, this quote unquote what he said. He puts hands on bitches. That's that's the homie. That's what he said. That's the homie. But I'm gonna let you know now, because fair. you know I don't want to deal with the middleman shit. I don't want to tell you now. The warning. He, this is what he do. Yeah. Like I'm telling you, this ain't the accident crying after. No, he puts it on. He puts he puts hands on. Me. That's what he do. Mm-hmm. Right. And she ignored it. Right. She didn't listen because motherfuckers got issues. They like what they like. Whether it's a carnal lust thing. He was finding you, whatever the case may be, you know what I mean? Or or it's just like or, you know, motherfuckers go through the guy issues and mental shit going on. They they or think it's not gonna be them, whatever the case may be, right? And she touched every wall in that fucking house. Over and over again, fuck with that nigga. Now she don't fuck with no more, but she went through a gang of shit. You were touched every wall in the house. Warned. Fuck with this nigga. You've been warned. You know what I mean? But that's some sick shit. And it's it's deeper with that. It's a mental shit going on, history. All, all kind of shit that goes on with that. Why a motherfucker will go through that and, and 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 go and freely deal with something like that? And he's a fucking sick ass nigga for having that reputation. You know what I'm saying? Right. Why would you walk in that situation and there's the warning like, look, here it is. Motherfuckers, he people, ain't gonna do it to me. Well, you go right, deal right. with that shit. All right. It's kind of sick, man. But I, you know, I want to be on that all day. I, but I, I appreciate that. Def, that was definitely uh, the way about Drew broke that down. That was ill as fuck because. Getting into it, the levels of getting into it, it's crazy. Niggas don't break that down a lot. No. Um, on a brighter note, um, I don't know if you have yet on they air on YouTube. I think they airing on YouTube uh, the G Funk documentary, you know. Mm. And I don't know if y'all got to see it. I had the pleasure of going to the premiere at a uh, uh, Stoop had a uh, Stoop and YouTube had a uh, premiere part watching thing at a. Um, his compound. I don't know if you've ever been to Blue Compound. Also, it's fucking one of the illest places I've ever been to in my life as far as work, uh, working environment goes. Mm-hmm. It's the flyest shit I've ever been in as a, like a, as far as, like I said, working environment compound with uh-huh. art. You know, a lot of artists got live different studios and big areas shit. I've never seen nothing like that. Snoop shit is fucking amazing. I just want to let people know if you get a chance to go, nigga, do a tour. The fact that you got to do a tour is a lot. 
You know what I mean, but you yeah, got to do that, a tour. That, it's you not said like, it like it was Neverland. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got you to do a tour. <laughs> you got to do a tour because you just all the shit. It was crazy. I'll tell you this. Most of the time you see Snoop and like, I'll just say this, doing shit, it's in the same place. You just don't know that it's in the same place. Like, mm. you know what I mean? Like, right. see him playing basketball, four court shit like that, that's there. See him at a casino, playing gambling, stuff like that, full casino with the tables, dealing with, that's in the same building. Uh-huh. You see kids with the daycare, you got the, or the radio station, or hair salon thing, whatever, the same place. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, okay, nigga, I live here. You literally have, don't have to leave. Right. Like, think about how, how long niggas being here, right? right. And we got a studio, people come through and kick in, Rob be cooking and shit like that, right, whatever. And it's just this space. Imagine it's just 10,000 10, square this. feet of shit. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Right. But, 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 on another note, I, 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 it was super dope because um, I got to see um, all these people who I consider uh, big homies and heroes mm-hmm. when I was coming up. Um, uh, uh, my good brother Warren G, Snoop, uh, Corrupt, Battle Cat, uh, um, and I'm and when I say when I say these names, um, it's a it's a it's ultimate respect I have for these dudes. It's not a name dropping thing. It's, it's a, this is a these are all my heroes. I grew up on all these niggas. So when you when I see them. And his love, that shit makes me feel away. Like I did something right mm-hmm. when when I was doing my rap thing, going hard and being around these niggas yeah, and they, picking they up shit. Respect you as much as you respect. Yeah, them. yeah. It, it's 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 ill as fuck. And they're all in this one space. There's no VIP section. It's no. And another thing about Snoop Man, which is real pretty ill, you don't realize. Okay, so we we all know Snoop is one of the biggest in the hands in the world, one of the most recognizable faces or brands in the world, right? right. But. You tend to not realize it because Snoop feels like everybody uncle. You find he's like everybody homie, right. right? You don't realize. I was saying this yesterday. Me and uh, me and uh, I think me, well, me and Glasses was talking. I was saying you don't realize. Me J three five. Me J me J three five. I was talking. You don't realize how fame, how big and famous Snoop is, until you see the other people around, who's big, who you thought was big and famous, right? Right. right. Like because Snoop is just so, just a homie, or so so just could he feel like everybody uncle? Right. Until you be like. Wait, hold up, nigga. Uh, fucking Alec Baldwin is here with, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and fucking Meryl Streep just pulled up, like shit like that. You'd be like, they got dressed what? to go there too, my nigga. They were and, Where you and, going? and mingling. It's not like no, there's no off to the side security. There's no. There, everybody's here. Yeah, they got fans walking up taking pictures, but they niggas is chilling. Certain people smoking weed that people don't even know right. smoke weed publicly, right. like, 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 like me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um. To, but to the documentary, um, I thought it was fucking incredible. Um, I got chills literally all through it. Um, uh, it was about, it's, 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 it's called G-Funk, and it was literally about really Warren G. And then, you know, 213 and G-Funk and how all that came about. Um, then going into Death Row, NWA, but going into Death Row, and then Warren off to, remember Warren went to Death Row. Right? Yeah. And, um, it was incredible, man. They talked about just basically how it was a, a Warren is kind of like the unsung hero. You're like, kind of like, like, nigga, a lot of this wouldn't be nothing if it wasn't for G Dub. He connected a lot of that for it's it. Dots, yeah. he, he no, dots. and it wouldn't even, it wouldn't even, and, 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 and he's the reason why uh, Russ put out this. Russell Simmons said, and we know the story. Russell Simmons even said on a documentary, uh, Warren G single handedly saved Def Jam. Yeah. Hands down. Like, like, that's just fact. Like, when Warren came over to Def Jam, when Warren first, one of Warren's first visits to Def Jam, when they ended up doing a deal with Polly Graham, they was about to, it, it was like 20 million in the, in the red. Like, it was about to be a wrap. Warren was up there, it was boxes in the office. That's how Def Jam was about to be a wrap. Like, it was boxes, like, okay, everybody pack your shit up, it's about to be over. Like, done, done. Not like a break, nigga. It's like, done. And then regulators came up. And boom, budgets opened up, money got back in. He single handedly put them from 20 in the black to like 30 or 40 something. In the, I mean, 20 and something red to like 30 or 40 something in the black. I mean, the black, some shit like that. Something crazy. Mm-hmm. Like single handedly saved them. You know, with, uh, and, 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 you know, and we know the story of Regulator, how Dre and Sugar didn't even like Regulator, mm-hmm. which is insane. Crazy. But they wasn't, I mean, you know, Sugar was on that hard shit. And G Dub is what that G Dub was kind of like you know chill I'm laid back you you met him you know how you talk he's a cool mellow cool, nigga yeah. like you know what I mean and um but they got into all that man the history of that man and just told these stories of how 
you know, one was instrumental in certain things, his relationship with Snoop and Nate and what that was. And Dad's Corrupt and was all in it. And it was it was pretty fucking dope. And they, they I, lo- I love that they told stories that we just didn't know. Mm-hmm. Nigga, it was so ill. They had the footage of um, Nate Dogg hearing the regular beat for the first time. They got video mm-hmm. footage of that with him and Warren. Like, and Nate is freestyling over the beat. Not regulated. Not what he's saying on regular. He's just freestyling. Warren's playing the beat for the first time. Mm-hmm. And he's... Dude, the whole shit was like... Everybody in the movie theater was like, this is the dopest shit ever. Like, you know what I mean? You've never seen it. You never Chills, know. bro. Like, nigga, like, real... This is where we come from. So, and we was raised on all this shit. Mm-hmm. So, to see it and then see these elements of it are the things you fell in love with and then you see these extension and secret passes away as the shit you didn't know. Like, it's... It was mind blowing, mm-hmm. and then to hear Warren say, "Man, yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go do that. We gotta record that." To know what it is today, and then to see that, it's like, "Oh, this is fucking amazing. Mm-hmm. This right. is amazing, dog." It was a great documentary, man. I, um, it's on YouTube right now. YouTube Premium, right? Premium, right, Rob? YouTube Premium, and um, I gotta pay for YouTube to get this. I don't know. I just we got it already. Your local astronauts. There it is. Damn there it is. Local astronauts already have it. So. uh... <laughs> It was a we'll great send y'all dog, man. our code like Netflix. Just go to the YouTube channel under this video and ask for it. But you got to subscribe to our regular YouTube channel <laughs> right, to right. get it. Right, 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 you got to right, leave right. a comment under our <laughs> podcast to get it. And then we'll hook yeah. it up like that. But shout out to everybody in the building, man. All the legendary niggas, man. The whole Compton's most wanted was there, dog. Uh, uh, nigga, uh, Code, 80, Code 187 was there. Shout out to Butter Law. Um, dog, uh, Exhibit was there. King T was there. You know, just it was just legendary niggas in the building, dog. Battlecat's always up when they got clowning with Battlecat. He talking about my Instagram page. Right. You know what I mean? Like, right. <laughs> like you know what I mean? It was just it was just cool seeing all them dudes and this love. It's oh, and I would like to go on record to say, Sniffing Griffin's barbecue is probably the best barbecue I had in my life. Battle. Yes, I said that in front of Rob, Chef Rob over there. Battle. Well, no, I'm the barbecue over here. Okay, well, let me say, Sniffing Griffin's barbecue. This is what I do. It's the best, some of the best barbecue I had in my life. Oh, yeah. It might be top two, and I say that because I say that because no sauce was needed, mm. none, no sauce, no sauce was needed, bro. Like it was, and, and I'm talking about fall off the bone ribs, like smoker, like all that. It was fucking incredible, right? Boom, and, and and I think everybody should have some. You know what? Don't go into no free promos right now. No, that's my nigga. That went to a four. And you know what the crazy part is? Mm. I barbecue a lot at the crib. I was like, I'm gonna buy one of the smokers. I'm thinking about it. Dude, that shit make your shit on some other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like high producer. <laughs> <laughs> Our real producers in the building. <laughs> you said real producers. Our in the real building. producers in the building. <laughs> nah, but it was dope, man. Um, um definitely something y'all would have loved to see. It was. It was. I'm gonna check it out. It's, it was, it's it was on the fucking, docket. Yeah, it's on the docket. <laughs> it's on the docket. <laughs> It's not a docket for this week. Are you moving along? Are you moving right along? Let's. Did you hear about? You know what? No, nah, he 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 was like he seemed uninterested. Like, Ooh. yeah, he already fuck with West Coast. Like, yeah, that. I was like, yeah, that's, no, that's another story. But yeah. don't look. So I fuck with the West Coast. I was just I was letting Warren G have his moment because I wasn't the big G funk era fan. With you. I like you know. He I should, but I, I, I love the regular. I was thinking of that. I was thinking about that. Like, okay, well. Well, uh, okay, look, okay, look at it like this. <laughs> I did love regular. <laughs> Got it. Look at it like this. It wasn't about. I'm not. I'm, well, let me say, era. I wasn't a big Warren G fan. Got it. It wasn't about the G Funk era, right? Mm-hmm. What I think you were a fan of, if I if I can say, you can tell me if I'm wrong or not, right? Mm-hmm. What Warren has his hands in, that's what this was about. It wasn't about the appraisal of G Funk era, the album, or it was about how he. Was the gateway that he was the gateway to extend that extra branch of the tree uh, of West Coast of West Coast shit? Like because yeah. literally without G Dub, then there's no Snoop, there's no Nate. That means there's no Dog Pound, and that that line can go way further than that because he literally pressed and pressed and pressed and pressed and pressed for that to happen. Even there's, when there's Snoop, no you, even when, there's fucking no me, right. Right, right, yeah. and the fact that, and well, the, the fact no, that I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, I'm, just I'm honored to be on that list somewhere down on, down down line. I, I fuck with Warren G. Uh, I can't speak and to Warren that. found Warren found Warren found ninety maybe ninety five percent of all the samples and all the records that was 
that was on the chronic. I know the guy is a genius. I know production wise, I love him. Killer. Mm-hmm. I just didn't like like I, I wasn't a fan of him he rapping did, on the album. He did two fucking breed. But that was I, enough for me. Uh-huh. He did Tupac and Breathe song. That was nothing. That was nothing me. No, I like a lot. <laughs> right, right. If, no, if somebody right, says right, right. some orangey track. I'm right, 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 right. It's not like you right. Know what I mean, and uh, I like the character. Like I felt like his character was important mm-hmm. when gangster rap was doing his his thing at that time. Yeah, because you know it's a lot about gimmicks in that era. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's follow me, follow me gimmick now, but it was like we're the gangsters. We're the rappers in black. We're the rappers from underneath the subway. Nah. We're the rappers from... You, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it was very, very gimmicky. You yeah. know what I mean? Salt you, and pepper. You basically like, don't like 90s rap at all. Just remove that from your... 90s made the best hip-hop I can't almost tell. of all time. But it's the beginning. So in the beginning, it's a lot of corny shit and a lot of mistakes being made. Dude, you had damn near... Of anything. You had damn near a decade or something of raps before that. Right, niggas had on furs and was going rah, nah. It was super gimmicky. Like, right, oh, before that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's right. all, it, but I'm, I'm just saying. So you gotta when, think though. But that's it, the value of Warren is what I'm trying to say. What I'm saying is, but, but the argue the gimmicky part, <laughs> right? Uh-huh. Shit laughing. <laughs> when, when the argue the gimmicky part, right? Uh-huh. Um, 80s, you said super gimmicky, mm-hmm. right? Because mm-hmm. raw furs and leather tassels and shit, right? 90s was gimmicky, what you said with the I'm from the underground, I'm wearing black, and I'm this though. What's a gimmick if you niggas is really out here like that? To me, to me, mm-hmm. right? NWA looked like the homies. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm glad you said that. Mm-hmm. What's a gimmick if you out there really like that? We talking about the era of Boss, who was a Wall Street accountant, but was coming out every day with the black lows. Right, 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 right. We talking about, yes, NWA. Oh, so you're talking about there were gimmicks. Yeah, it was but you a gave lot it to the that, whole '90s era. Of like Dos Effects was just like, no, I'm not saying it. See, y'all be trying to put me in. No, the 90s that's because era. That's how, that's that's how you love, came off. Did we think? You saying did we think Dos Effects slept in the sewer? No, we didn't think that. Onyx <laughs> with the bats, like Naughty <laughs> by Nature with the bats, like dude, have, dude. The first era of hip hop, everybody was dressed like right you, know, you, know, you know, you know how. Let me let's 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 explore this, right? You know how boring rapper be if everybody did what they actually did. I'm not saying anything wrong People with it. People are born in real life. Right. <laughs> Listen, you well, won't even do this podcast without shades. That's because there's a light <laughs> in my face. No, no, no. no that's no. not why. Way to bring that full circle. It's in my contract. <laughs> way to bring that full circle. I can't help what's in my contract. <laughs> it's your contract. Uh, here we go. It's I'm in saying, my contract. Can you imagine what, what this game it would be suck. like? If, if we didn't if have entertainment, that's didn't a, that's have a part of it. That's a part of it, though. Which is great. That's part of it. Which is great. I don't make it, but I don't make it a thing, a bad thing. At all. Okay, okay. I was just about to talk about the value of Warren G. Okay. Okay, so for me, the value mm-hmm. of Warren G is in a time where mm-hmm. a lot of the shit was gimmicky and turn of like, that's what, see, we just finished he laughing about him. CB4. You're saying he was just him. He right. was amongst the gangsters, but he was, I'm from L.A., you right. guys from L.A., mm-hmm. right? Yeah. The gangster shit get portrayed like everybody with the gangsters is all gangsters unless they right, right, right. Uh, Sharif by the, by the fucking <laughs> crew. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> And Warren G is like, no, nigga, I'm right here. Yeah. I, my my best, I got two best images of Warren G, and they all wait. So w- was Warren G? Uh, what's my man? Uh, not Sharif. What? Stacy. Uh, Stacy. Sharif was Stacy. Without the sports, was no. Warren Stacy. Without, without sports. No, that's what that's what's so important. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Warren G is. Warren G was Stacy. He was Stacy. Oh, sports. Let me just, he's sports nigga. I, but let me just say, I know he's sports nigga commentary. But Shout out to Elijah. Say, and about the bitches. He was about that. I think he was about. I know, but look, exactly. Mm-hmm. So my point is. So he's not Stacy to you. No, not at all. Because okay. Stacy was still on the old narrative of the one nigga who wasn't a gangster was getting like some type of football scholarship or had a gang of baby mamas and shit. The image of Stacy had bad kids. Right. Let me, tell you about let, me, let, me, let me say this is a good thing about right, right. I get what that, you're saying, look. Right. Okay. That yeah. My era of LA Street uh-huh. and hip hop LA Street uh-huh. and gangster shit, uh-huh. it was like before that nobody had knew that there was a nigga who just got an NPC to hang around with with the with the game bangers. That's right. really his folks and he really kinda of from it. Like the affiliate. Right. The affiliate hadn't even been introduced to the hip hop right. world really. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. It was like you was either hundred in or hundred out. But right. we all Around the same niggas, like I ain't about to be from this, but right. I'm here for what we doing. What what we doing is beats today. Is it might be a problem one of the days, but I'm definitely not part of that. So when I used to see Warren G, uh-huh. I'm like, okay, 
My favorite two Warren G images, you know, is one in the uh, G thing video when he rolling and having yeah. a good time. Mm-hmm. That's me in the hip hop video. Mm-hmm. And then my first time, coincidentally, my first time going to New York, I go, I go with Mona Lisa. Shout out Mona Lisa, and we go to the club the first night, and Warren G and Miss fucking Mr. Grimm is like pull up, mm-hmm. and only West Coast niggas they was I wasn't crib walking, but they were all crib walking. Mm-hmm. In New York, it was a dope image. So for me, that's that's what's dope about him is that like he represented really LA. The majority of LA is mm-hmm. not game banging, but they're around it, so he was affiliated facing. with it. But he wasn't, but he wasn't the stereotypical sports dude. He was the hip hop dude. Stacy wasn't the stereotypical sports dude. But, but Stacy wasn't the hip hop dude. Right, but we're just we're saying. Not, we're for, not, we're, we're I'm about. saying for me, the hip hop for dude scenario. Hang on gangster. If he huh? wasn't Sharif, he was Stacy. No, he didn't. My, Listen, if you but did, the value was that he didn't exist. Warren G is the image, the first image of that. He wasn't even in fucking Menace. They didn't even put the hip hop nigga to be around all the niggas. Where's he at? That would be Kane. Kane would have been the nigga who rapped. No. Kane would, this okay, Autumn, terrible old, producer. This, this Do you feel what I'm saying? Let's think about all them old rap a lot ads. <laughs> like, remember Kane didn't have albums? This have nigga album rose up from the couch with a sandwich. Mm-hmm. 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 Hurry in the mic. No, it's in the closet. No, put it out your purse, girl. I put it in there. Right. Bring food for one. <laughs> so I understand. I understand what he's saying. He's pretty much saying that the image of what Warren G was, the image of the nigga being the cool motherfucker that's coming through doing some hip hop shit. Prior to him, it didn't exist. That's the the big element that he brought to the game. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Everybody else was on some. I'm a gangster, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the streets, I'm really making it happen. And Warren G was the actual, what was the slight opposite of, you know, I see it, I see what goes around, but I'm still the cool nigga that pull up on my bike doing some cool shit and for, making for it happen, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, but, I, I mean, even, but, 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 but even with Stacey, because, we're, we're because, putting in the movie because, concept. Because what you're doing is, so, so, what you're doing is, what you're doing is, what you're, doing is, you're diminishing his value. No, you're not. No, I'm you're not. not. I'm not yes, you are. No, I'm not. You, you, you're not giving it to him that he brought something to him. was me. But, you, but you're not Stacy. I am Stacy. You play sports? Y- nigga, yes. You got kids? No, I don't You ain't Stacy. Stacy was Stacey. throwing his six scissors scene. It's so throwing the shit in the back and saying, so when no, I say my nigga, Warren, you know I got so, kids. So how Warren's not? How many? Okay. <laughs> because Stacy didn't have hip hop to him. Look, 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 look. You, you, look. What you're doing is you, Stacey and you're Warren. hanging on to hip hop. You're hanging on to that element of hip hop, right? Right. We're just we were talking about gangster shit yeah, yeah. or the street nigga or the nigga who was affiliated, right? No, that wasn't what, doing that's the what gang- you said. We no, doing the what you said. We commented on what I'm talking about. All I was talking about was why I valued Warren G. So first of all, y'all can't take that out. What I'm saying, I'm saying why I value. I'm gonna go by what you said. And I'm saying I valued him because the role that he represented in LA streets before him wasn't represented. It wasn't even in the movie y'all talking about. We would have you to make... brought the movie up and brought up Sharif. Okay, but I'm saying so. I was like, oh, you know what? Actually, I'm glad you brought that up because Stacy would be the cool nigga affiliate. He wasn't a shooter. He was clean. He liked chicks. Had kids. Trade football for and want to play football. So if you trade football, football for, for music, hip-hop, he stays. Then you'd even know that. I'm at not, that point. I'm so he would have been that. I know. See how we keep saying he would have been that. Because he wasn't represented, right? The real what he would be wasn't represented, yes or no? No. That's my point. He re- he brought that to the game. I got that. So if you did a movie right now, it wouldn't be odd to have the same gangster setting, mm-hmm. but except for Stacy, would be a hit. Like, man, I'm about to go to the studio, man, if y'all niggas want to come. Nah, nigga, fuck the studio, da da da. We about to be in these streets. That narrative come from. Okay, in the 90s when that shit was going on, I was mm-hmm. in hip hop too. And mm-hmm. I was fucking with. It was so divided that. The niggas who don't represent that at all don't even show they one gangster homie. That's the flip to it. Mm-hmm. So you know, like for example, people talk about Project Blow, the Freestyle Fellowship, mm-hmm. Good Life as mm-hmm. that part of non-gangster shit. Mm-hmm. But then don't acknowledge Pun, who we know, right? Gangster Pun from the jungles. Oh, Pun, that Pun, right, 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 right. right. Oh, I'm like mm-hmm. niggas. Super I'm like, active, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. At that time, producing on the albums. Mm-hmm. Best friends with Micah, mm-hmm. everywhere they go, you feel what I'm saying? Best friends with AC. Mm-hmm. There's no that without him. There's no that without all the gangster niggas involved, actually, in that scene. Mm-hmm. But 
they also don't get to shine because it's the opposite fucking closeout. It's like the 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 the, the, the traditional hip hop niggas or the organic hip hop niggas or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, I don't think they're trying to not focus on that they got gangster niggas there. I don't part think that's why they didn't get to shine. But in the gangster part, it's the opposite. You no, said, I, but I don't think that's why they're not getting to shine. Why? Well, nigga, you play background to everybody. Pun, Warren, they all play background to everybody. That's why. Right, but I'm saying so beyond them, their characters Look, are there, not represented. There, there is no, but. It was like before. Because you're playing background to everybody. Look, but if, he's not, let's he's take, not the background. Okay, let's take Stacey. He rapped and produced. That's what, 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 what I'm saying. So until you stepped out, that's why a documentary had to be made. Say everyone never came out with a solo album, but still produced everything, put them same things together, found the samples, did all this shit, it wouldn't be no documentary about this nigga. Because you didn't step out. What I'm saying is this. What I'm saying is this. There also wouldn't be a documentary about this, him if he. He, if he could be okay, so we all know. Stacy Roll was Stacy Roll was was what it was because he didn't do no shooter or bang bang shit, right? He was just he represented the no. nigga who was around. He was the homie. he was me, right? The nigga who was around, been all around all the shit, but he wasn't a shooter, right? He wasn't a shooter. He was all around all the shooters, around all the shit. Get, get kid, young nigga with kids. He went to all that shit, whatever, whatever, whatever. He had been a represent, representation of that. He he probably right. actually did not game. He probably the one nigga who didn't get put on. Right? right, so 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 what I'm saying is, but them kind of niggas don't. The reason why Kane and O Dog and niggas like that got the shine because they're loud, outright aggressive niggas. I get like that. Dog was even being as chill as he was. You talking was about as a front. person? I'm talking about. We were talking about hip hop music. Right now, talking about hip hop right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Okay, Minister Society. Huh? Was there a dude who rapped in, or made beats in Minister Society? No, no. Other than Boys in the hood. The one did. He got killed in the car. And boys uh, in the hood. Uh, 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 you can't throw that up. That nigga went to Westchester. Uh, 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 Way to flip that one. Shout uh, 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 <laughs> 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 out to my boy, my family. Uh, uh, he was. He got funny. killed. Was it a rapper in Boys in the Hood? You got killed early in the movie. I don't know. What? He was a gangster. He wasn't no producer and <laughs> rapper. In Y'all niggas is real. In real life, though. In real life. <laughs> so was he <laughs> We forgot what he was going to say. Yeah, your whole shit is out of here no, now. He no, he rapped. He played a gangster. Now we got two rappers. <laughs> we got eight and Oh, Dude. Too Short was in the, the shit too. Not that they're yeah, rappers. Sure. <laughs> Never <laughs> said. Are there rappers in there? Hey, they dog. weren't represented as rappers or producers. Hey, hey, we got Short, MC8, and Saphir. We got both sides of hip hop. None of them played Coast. rappers or producers. Hip hop and gangster rap in one movie. Did any of them play portray rappers or producers? Man, Saphir got killed early. Was he a rapper right. or producer? He was Sefier a hustler, gangster homie that was going for the straps. Fear got killed early. Right? Was he a. Was he a hu- Kane started with Hang with Old Dog while MCA was in trap. That's why we didn't show him. When they didn't show him, so you trap, said under it all, they was rapping. Him and Too Short got probably got songs. And you, what about them scenes coming to life where they was in the studio? We the unreleased oh scenes. Oh my God. <laughs> See? You, hey, they would was, still be gangster rappers. You got no vision. You ain't got no vision. You got no vision. He don't want to think outside of that. Oh, this is cool. See, man, shout out to Warren G, man. I give you all the love, man. Your boy's trying to take you down. You created that. Yeah, brother, <laughs> he didn't want to get that one up. Dude. Tupac did that after the first the first movie from that that era that even represented the shit right was Tupac. Hey, they they talking about uh they they're talking about Menace to Society to play. <laughs> See off Broadway See. and off. uh in Manchester. <laughs> Back oh. to the streets. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Next on the docket. <laughs> Back to the streets. Dude, can we talk about Lil Uzi for one second? Who? Yeah, let's talk about that. <laughs> uh, we need to fucking uh, sound. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Hey, Lil Uzi. Y'all, y'all heard about Lil Uzi, right? Yeah. He told his fans, they going to hell. They already there. Why, you not listening to this? Do y'all listen? Oh, you, I forgot you're a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Only hey, on God. Christian Mingle. <laughs> oh, um. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, y'all fucking with Lil Uzi, man, for saying that, man. What he say, man? I don't, that ain't on my radar. He said, man, a lot of people. Look, can I play it? I gotta play it on the phone. That's bullet. We we need a board, dog. I, we got a board. We need it hooked up. We, that producer upgrade didn't what do mic? shit. Play it in the mic. See what Rob telling me to do? That's good. It's well, like a better, more professional way to do this. We damn. We got all four mics. No, it ain't loud. See? Your speaker. It, no, it just sucks.
Are you ready again? Stop. Okay, we could put a link to that in our YouTube comments. Yeah, we, we did we hear or, or you can go to... Uh, well, go did, to did everybody hear it? Clear to hear that. What did he say? Uh, are you, okay. He said... <laughs> he said, did everybody hear that? He was so disappointed that I didn't. For clarity, what did he I'm say? I'm just asking you to say no. Well, anyway, he said... Ver, I don't want to say verbatim. <laughs> like, you you say nothing. You just said... Okay. Let me just read it here. Like I told y'all, like I told y'all earlier, you motherfuckers have entered the rapture, and if and if nobody flying up to heaven right now, obviously y'all motherfuckers going to hell. He said, "Ride with me." And then uh, when they all start booing and shit and all that, whatever, whatever, he was like, "Are oh, you already here? I'm so sorry, you can't get out. You are stuck here. It's over." You heard the song a million times and didn't even notice. So I guess he was saying certain certain messages in the song that you sing and rapping along with, but you kind of missed over. He was telling you some shit. In the song, mm-hmm. so you let you're like, hey, nigga, y'all been baby, moment the song. Don't not like the song now because I told you what it was about. What was it about? I, I don't know. He just said he just said it was about maybe he's a message there about going to hell or you in hell. Okay. I don't, I don't listen to his music, so I don't know what song that would be. Okay. I didn't Please. accidentally join the gates of hell in any kind of way. I didn't accidentally <laughs> say the password to get into that. I, I'm like, if we don't talk about this top topic, we going to heaven. If we don't talk about this, <laughs> no, nah, that's how you want to get out. Uh, okay. <laughs> you can't do. You got to. You said what? What you, you were saying? I thought we had just wrapped that up. Oh yeah, did we? Or did you wrap it up for everybody? <laughs> so okay, but be, be, you know, because of Badr's religious beliefs, he don't want to go into that little Uzi story. So no, I, we'll move on to the next. I didn't even see anything wrong it's with no it. No big deal. It's no big deal. We're not even gonna. Sorry. It's cool. It's passive. So I did. Fit, I did have a hip hop question for niggas, but it's kind of like broad. But it's. I, I think it's an interesting time. What about female rappers? What about female rappers? Don't you say? I'm saying, what about female rappers? That's what you just said. He didn't. You said you had a. Never mind. He said the topic was broad. <laughs> he said it was hip hop in there. You know what? Dude, you got to learn when, when somebody jumps out of the ledge, you got to. <laughs> you notice I step back and close it up. <laughs> let them be out. Let people continue to catch who. I don't want them confusing his voice and mine, so I stop. <laughs> he jump. <laughs> he jump. I'm, I'm here. Everybody <laughs> see it's not me. They, they know it's not me. And then, okay. So, like, what? Now, that's interesting because I didn't know that female MCs were called broad. So, explain that. Is that a cultural thing? Yeah, it's ba- yes, it's based on their <laughs> level of talent. They usually have a broad scale of talent. And I think that's why they've been acknowledged for that. But they don't call men MCs. What's funny is, why do I have to say men and women MCs? MC is an MC, right? Male I MCs so. have a lesser level of talent, and the broads have a broader level of talent. No. So broads are better. I think so. Broads mean females. Broads are better. I'll just say that. Okay. So by Drew thinks broads are better than men. <laughs> Got it? Okay. Cool. Yes. I enjoy, and I enjoy the company of broads much better than men. Okay. All right. So. so Look how you're trying to do me. Every no, I'm not. Time. I'm not. No, I just, I, so by Drew, he's quoting me like I wasn't even here. So by Drew said... Some people still aren't used to our voices yet. They got to know who's it's talking. It's only episode four. <laughs> Dude, they don't know who we are Am I yet. my brother's keeper? Like, right. where's that at? Because me, I think... It, to nigga, you know, nigga, what are you talking I about? Me no like, kill G-Money. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> right. What the fuck are you talking about? That shit so wouldn't go not, ahead. Right. Right. So, uh, to all you female MCs, uh, a.k.a. Queens, uh, I just want you to keep rising to the top and keep elevating. Please. And... Uh, <laughs> Shout out to y'all. Yeah, shout out to y'all. All of y'all. It's funny because off air he said, I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, yeah, everything okay. you come with that bullshit. Right. Okay. I'm wrong. I don't recall. Can uh, we do it? Can we do uh we need to do like a, a female hip hop show. About what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they both jumped. <laughs> Completely out of this one. You know what's fucked up, yeah. man? Because I got a problem with it. You know how you got a joke, and if you don't say it, you be wasted, it's wasted. It came so fast, though. Did not even think about it. I thought it was so creative. You jumped too. Right, cool. that's why I've been quiet, so I people know so that creative. was your voice. I was so mind. creative. What did creative do? <laughs> <laughs> about what? Yeah, <laughs> 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 I 
Oh that's sick. So I know. Right after I got on you about it. That's a good one. You, no. you said you jumped. That's too. my line for when people say, uh, you know what happens when you assume I go to blank dumbest face. No. <laughs> Wait, right. are you assuming I do? <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Is that question oh, an oh, assumption? That's a genius clapback right there. So I just go, no. but And they don't even get it. Like, right. you don't get it. You just as- put an assumption on me. And somebody, somebody ever went further and told you the line, the next part of that? All the time. You know what I mean? People used to hey, like signing you, out. Hey, like they put you on something? Oh, you get it. You make an ass of yourself. Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but uh, uh, that's hilarious. Let me ask so, you, what, what, do you, what do you feel about uh, Fem C's? I hate well, that. Do they want to be called? I hate, I, hate, I, hate that, I hate that. Wow. I hate that term. They no, no. <laughs> well, there's a separation there. <laughs> right, right, right. What do you feel, what do you feel about uh, um, women rappers? Man, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> Y'all got me last week. Can we, do, can we get that like right, next no, week? Man, I'm interested. I feel like they are definitely here. <laughs> what? what the fuck is that? <laughs> Dude, I, I'm, I, I just want to know. Ladies, what do you think about the, uh, if female MCs? Ooh. The dope. Most of them. Some of them. Most female MCs I, I, are dope. I, 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 I said some. Is that, a, is that a rebuttal? Yes. Because I didn't say anything when he said it, but you did. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Do we judge he's, he's, female he, MCs hey. on the same scale as we judge male MCs? Dope is dope. Lyrics dope lyrics. He's trying to make so me jump for it, for it, for anybody at the table. We don't have to say like anything, but and can we mel- welcome Miracle to the show first of all? Because I want to get your opinion to this. What's up, Miracle? Hi, Miracle. I'm not a scapegoat. No, no, no. I want to include you in the conversation because it's gonna go bigger than. It's gonna go broader. It's gonna go broader. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, she okay, and welcome, Mary. Okay. Wait, wait. So, <laughs> do you also judge uh, female MCs on the same scale as men, or they have their own? I like what I like. Oh, she okay. oh my God! Media, media training. training. Right there. A lot of media, media training. training. I like yeah. that. I like that good sign. Okay. When they ask you a question you don't want to answer, answer a question you do want to answer. Yeah. Media training. <laughs> okay. Well, here's my, my, my question. Does anybody here have one female rapper in their top ten rappers of all time? Top ten? And if so, who? Hold on. Just a top ten? Shit. Huh. We see who's shaking by that one. Yeah, I asked the tough questions, yeah, nigga. Top ten, right. period? Like... Oh, you rephrasing. Top 10 all-time MCs with no bias and judgment of lyrics are and are there is there one woman no, in any one that here's top, top 10? 10. Not my top 10, no. Miracle? My top 10 changes all the time, but not right now. I like media that. Training. Media training. Yeah, yeah. I don't have it, but I, I, I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so, uh, and she had the face with so it too. So what's the point with that? What's the point with that? What does that mean? I yeah. think that speaks for herself. Why? They're only so good when it comes down to that because are they in your top 20? There's no Indian rappers in my top 10 either. <laughs> They're only so good. <laughs> you know, any good, you, there's like four Indians in California where they work. No, I'm just kidding. But oh. my mom would kill me for that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I apologize. <laughs> I found a group not to offend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This thing is- I, what, what was crazy was I was throwing out shit that, that, that he's not gonna go for this, and then you just attacked it. Dude, I apologize. Chalk but what about the, but what about the Car- Cherokees, uh, Jeep Company, uh, everybody? What? I apologize. Wait, <laughs> you are more offensive. <laughs> <laughs> Jeep deeper. Jeep Company. They got a Cherokee. This is crazy right now. <laughs> The Cleveland Indians too? <laughs> the Washington Whoa. Redskins? No. Whoa. Hey, we show, we all show. We Whoa, team, that's too far. <laughs> that's too far. They don't even like the ones y'all see. I said G Cherokee. They still making those. We can't have an oh, individual show canceled. That's, that's the same. <laughs> That's the same. Okay. What's going on so, here? So, there's no Indian or female rappers in anyone in the room you top 10. Shit. So, Indian moving on. <laughs> moving on, because I don't even want to be in now. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. shit. Wait, what that means, what does that mean is a female rapper not in your top 10? Compare, look, when you, when you talk to, the, when you do the numbers, mm-hmm. how many female rappers to, to, what's the ratio? Do the number on white rappers. How many white rappers in your top 10? One. One. That's about 10% of the game. He made it. 
Where's the women? They about 5% of the game. You don't got one in your top 10? <laughs> you got me. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. <laughs> I had to back down. Oh, she got something for that. No, I do. I do. I do have some for that though. You, I feel like your exposure level can't dictate the reality. Like that's your context. That's what you've been exposed to. Yeah, I'm just giving my answer. Correct. I and every other yours. person. So, what is your answer? Really Where hip-hop. are you going at? Is what we keep asking about questioning you, our exposure team? or our experiences. I'm saying, based on 100% of the people in We don't this know 100. Room, you know every person in the world. There's, it's not 100% possible. 100% of the people in this room, right? No. But have that's a no personal. woman in their top 10. Based for off of five we, uh, And we all reasons. have different reasons. But we can only... We're and looking different at in time frames that we're thinking of. Right. And all of us are different ages and been exposed to different that's things. Even, that even makes it more my case. And none no. of us have a woman in our top but 10. But that doesn't... Not even the woman. No. I, I don't even... No. Who knows the most? Who knows the most hip hop artists here? I think maybe I don't. I think I don't know enough to be able to nope. say that, and I don't think you do either. Why not? I was because you don't know every person in the world, so you're already biased. You, you can't like say what you anything like. about anything because nobody. Knows what does this have to do about with the characteristics of a female rapper? Mm-hmm. What? That's what we're talking about, right? So Why what does can't that have one to make do it with in your top value? ten? Tell me that. What, where are you leading at? Because you're leading. Have the you're leading. Women here. in hip hop went wrong. That none of them can be in your top ten. What? What does it mean? Why does it have to be something wrong? Okay, let me ask you this. So we don't have to be. There's a transition battle. that's happening. I mean, okay. women have just been able to speak for themselves. You oh know what my I mean? God. And not, I mean, if we look at historically being able to voice years. your opinion, you know what I'm saying? And the art, the way people express themselves, and that's just what you've been exposed to. So, okay. again, how are we valuing women? Why are we, what, how are you basing their characteristics is what I'm saying. Female I MCs. <laughs> and I would say this. Do what is have, a female you, MC to a, you? A, fem- a rapper with a uterus. I got a better question. This I'm is, just saying this that's why I answered. This is that's dead that one, Peter. So not Frida. But go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, 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 oh. What just happened? No, that's a fact. All right. So let me ask you. What this. just happened? I don't even know. <laughs> but answer her question though. Oh my! My question was for your top ten. Everybody here has a criteria. So for your top ten, you you talking about me? But the question is about us as individuals. You got to tell me why a woman's not in your top ten instead of blaming me for the one not being there. I don't know why you don't have a woman in your top ten. Why? Lauren Hill's amazing. Why is she not in your top ten? She's not better than. You said something bad about her today off air too. Shout out to Lauren. She's not. What what I said about her. (laughs) She uh. You do mean like that? She's not better. Lauren Hill's not better than the top ten rappers in my top ten. Period. Okay, what is your criteria for top ten? Oh, different reasons. Different, different, different reasons. So where does she lack? Well, not, I don't want to make it about Lauren because Lauren's amazing. She's Lauren's God. amazing, she incredible. Right. She but, just don't beat the top ten niggas in my shit. But there's okay, but there's like females who are super killer, rhapsody, but super you, killer. But, but, but I've heard, I heard, I've literally heard about five albums deep of rhapsody. That's why rhapsody will kill Lauren to me. So why is she in your top ten? Because rhapsody's not better than the ten niggas in my top ten. Top twenty. Like when definitely. does a woman? She, no, she's definitely in my top twenty. She's in your top twenty. Easy. Rest is in my top twenty. Okay, I will she say. She's the only easy. female in, in your top twenty. Uh, no. Well, she might be. Rhapsody is the only oh, female in your top twenty. Who? Uh, not the three D ninety. Mm-hmm. She's dope as fuck. Mm-hmm. She's not in my top twenty. Lauren, Lauren is in my top twenty from from ten to twenty. I don't know I, which one. My, my, my she, she's in the I'm top twenty. Okay, so <laughs> I, I just want to say this real quick. Okay, sure. My only reason why, well, not uh, my only reason why Lauren is there in the top twenty is the reason why all the other nine, I guess, other artists is because if from my ten to twenty, I base those rankings based off of influence, uh, the artist's influence in the game, not so much how complete they are as an artist. My first 10 is about the full completion of you as an embodiment of an artist, mm-hmm. and then my 10 to 20 is the the impact that you've given, in, given the game at a specific that. point in time. So I'll put Lauren in there because in that specific point in time, she was bodying shit, she was killing everybody, and but, but 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 when you say now I can't argue opinion I get it uh-huh. right right but when people my my problem with the rapper thing my problem my problem with the rapper thing right with Lauren right you have lost ones right you got I think what two records she rapped on on the Fuji album which one, I'm, I'm she rapped on. 
Going through uh, uh, maybe the, two records. Wait, real quick, real quick. Mm. We talking about rap, bro. Rap, right? In the first album, you might have heard five. No, that's not. That's not. Five songs were Lauren rapped on in its entirety. Uh, that exists publicly. No, but okay. No, who, what? Name for more the, than that. The, the first album she she rapped on entirely. She, the the first album she did. She worked on Fu- Lost Ones. That's it. No, no. Wait a minute. Not her first album. The her- Fuji's first album. Okay, right, 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 right. Fuji's right, first right, album, right, right, right. then the Fuji's okay. second album, the score, she rapped on majority right. of that. And then on her album, then you get to that. But then there were also other countless, like, other records she, that, not she, she, that she got she got it, she got on. Anyway, she to, me, but to me, that was my thing about Lauren. Well, I, didn't, I have, a, like, she was incredible, whatever, but the her impact was, I think her impact was uh, um, gauged differently. Right, people are people argue the fact like, well, Biggie only had one, two albums, right? How the fuck he make your top ten, right? Well, she not but, in mind, but go ahead. No, no, I'm talking about Biggie. Yeah, I'm saying he not in mind. Oh, right, yeah, cool, cool, right? But you understand people, a lot of people put Biggie in their top ten, yeah. right? So, but they say, well, how was that, whatever? But I think they judge the impact. Lauren was, you know, what Lauren was. It's gonna sound crazy as fuck, but I'm gonna say it. Lauren was the white girl at the party who can dance. You know why? Because you want a slippery when slope? I very slippery slope, but I don't uh, care. Look, hold on. Well, listen, uh, you got listen. Some. When, a, when, a, when, a, when we got your outrage over there. No, no, I, 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 I can't agree. Quick, you quick. know that's wrong. No, real quick. Listen, listen. When you at the party, you know the white girl to bust out or the nigga who bust out and dance, and they're okay, they're cool, but you know they're not better than nobody else in here. But the black people from the crowd around them, like, oh shit, Type because they're white and they're dancing Type with a little bit of rhythm, right? So, so when Lauren, she, no, don't get me wrong, she's lyrically, she's dope as fuck. Lyrically dope as fuck. But when you judge her from that one album, right, for that one album, right, they make her God. I'm like, no, she's a woman, right? She's a woman first, right? And she raps like that. So that's extra credit, right? Because it's a rare thing. Not that she's not good, not that she can't beat no niggas, but it's a rare thing, right? When Biggie did it, they praised him like he was God. At that point, at the time, with just those two albums, right? So it's like people compare Pac to Big. Like, How do you compare two albums worth of Big to a lifetime of achievements with Tupac? How do y'all compare them to? Why are you even arguing with these two niggas, right. right? So that's my only thing about Lauryn Hill. It's like you got, I got uh, a couple of verses from the score. I got Lost One from the first album. And then I got Fuji's albums, which I didn't look at that album as the fucking lyrical album, not even back then. That wasn't Lauren. Mm-hmm. Niggas wasn't checking for Lauren back on the Fuji album. We know the girl who was hip hop. No, Lauren was. Lauren, Nigga, Lauren was. Lauren can was rap. She was niggas. better than both of them. Man, oh, Lauren, okay. Before Lauren, mm-hmm. it's Latifah. Right? Got that. Right. Okay. Latifah tried to do everything Lauren tried to do, mm-hmm. including singing on Dana album and all that. Mm-hmm. And she was good at it because mm-hmm. she's a dope rapper. Yeah. The level that Lauren hit doing them same things. It's like years past, like another level. Right. Lauren, like I heard Trina say this, and I gotta, I gotta agree with Trina uh-huh. on this. Lauren Hill and Missy Elliott, Elliott are beyond just female MCs or just hip hop. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not because but, of their talent level. But we, we like we Lauren is like Andre three thousand. I'm not female. Look, man, <laughs> and he may be the go. Look, man, of what? Look, 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 look. This is a lot right now. <laughs> and the fact you got another nigga to say, mm hmm, it's crazy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Right? Facts, that, what? Lauren uh, Hill is not the Andre 2000 of, of females? It's facts. No. Who would? What? Nobody, nobody would be. Is. <laughs> what? I said nobody would be. What she transitioned from singing, acting, and rapping. And I said, look, as I'm smooth. not saying she's not killer. This is not my, that's not the conversation okay. I'm having. All right, tell me. I've never saying? said she's not killer, right? I'm saying the extras come with being a woman. I think she's better than 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 the extras. At the time when she look, came out, she was better than seventy percent of dudes doing. It. So I think she got, I think she got past the whole female thing because it, it was female person. rappers out at that time. It's probably more female rappers than any time in hip hop history. At yeah, that time, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little Kim is no, out. No, Foxy no, Brown is okay, out. When the Tifa still what, exists. What year did that come out? Foxy uh, 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 Light exists. Light was. 
I'm not saying if they were impactful that Tom said she's not by far the first female. No, I'm not no saying that. I'm saying I'm saying I understand her impact. I understand, but I I look I'm looking at the I'm not saying she don't have the impact and people don't look at her like a god, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that. But, I'm not saying that. I'm saying I'm saying how I'm rating it or how I'm judging it. Maybe not be on the same scale as y'all judging. I'm judging from a different way of looking at it. Like, oh, okay, you are a spud web. You know what I mean? You're five seven and can dunk. I get that. That's why your story is amazing. That's why people yell way more for you because you're five seven. I get that. But was spud web? Was your dunks better than niggas you was ball uh, on the same dunk contest with? Throw the ball up, catch it, dunk. Basic, but a nigga 5'7 did it. I don't think, I think she was doing shit to serve. I'm okay. not saying she was whack. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying, I'm saying she, Spud Webb didn't and, do and, anything and, and, and I'm, else I'm did. saying Lauren, look, Lauren, look, Lauren was this. Lauren was the Fugees. Oh, yeah, the girl on there, dope. The mother two niggas kind of whack. Wycliffe is creative. Prize is pure garbage, right? And and Lauren is the girl that she can rap, right? That's what it was, right? You but just look, don't offend all no, patients no, no. like then, that. Then the score came out. The score came out, right? Right. Uh, Killing me softly was Lauren is out of here. This is it. Mm-hmm. That's it. It wasn't the Fuji's first album, niggas. Nobody was on that. Yes, it was the album that was on that, and hip hop niggas was on that, whatever, whatever. But Killing Me Softly hurled her out of here. So when she dropped the album, right, we are lost ones, fresh off of Y Clef this. Right. Now we're on that. Serving the man. And she's fucking bussing. Serving a guy. No, she's bussing, serving a okay. guy, so and that, bussing. That, that's another thing to take her out the. But no, no, but she's but, bussing Y Clef. Y Clef wouldn't It's Y Clef. It was it, First wouldn't. of all, it's Y Clef. Ain't no serving it. It's not what I'm saying. She was serving a man. At the height of Y Clef. But he wasn't but fucking it wasn't serving a rap nigga. It was Y Clef. Why he wasn't out guard. serving niggas. I'm not saying. Listen, I'm not. I'm, I'm saying he had this. got off on her when he got off on her. No, he did no. not. No, I'm not rolling. You okay? We talk no. about black thought, right? You name a white. No, no, don't try to exactly. go. Don't try to. Don't exactly. try to. Exactly. Don't try to. There's no white left coat quotes. I have never, never heard no nigga okay. tweet a white left lyric. What white? Not even said, staying alive. Don't spill my drink. Come on, <laughs> oh, that's a, what? My God. Right, but anyway, I'm saying, I'm saying. So Lauren, I, I watched the elevation of Lauren Hill and how that happened. It wasn't like it was the lyrical beast. And look, Rhapsody, pure of lyrics. That's the way she, the position she's in. It was lyric, lyrical, lyrical, lyrical. I'm better than you niggas. I'm better than you niggas. I'm better than you niggas. Now I'm here on the big stage and I'm better than you niggas. Like it was that. It was no, wasn't no singing, wasn't no outside force. I didn't come from no hit albums. I didn't come from no big time. Nothing. It was lyrical, lyrical, lyrical. Oh, the, now the greats is like, oh yeah, she's one of the doubles. Period, hands down. We talking about just bars. She showed no ass, no titties, no nothing. It was just bars. It was that, right? right? So when if, now if if Rhapsody was in Lauren's seat, that's a different conversation. You know what I mean? She will probably get there. But this is we talking about straight lyrical bar. That's what I that put, was. Okay. So when Lauren, I'm like, I look at other things like no. It wasn't just the lyrics, dog. That wasn't that wasn't what hurled her into the fucking stuff. Killing me softly, and you can rap. She she can't rap her ass off. But it wasn't it was that. Kill, it was killing me softly, and then I was a fucking over. smash fucking hit. But killing that's me the softly crossover part of it. But I, I get it. I, when it comes to me and the female rappers, I do gotta say you like, already fuck with a lot of them. I got no. I fuck R-C. with them, but I put them in two different categories. Let me, all right. I got, when I, when I listen to female rappers, mm-hmm. I, it's just like when you ever play any sport, basketball, football, anything, there's always girls who play that sport, mm-hmm. right? There's, mm-hmm. no, there's almost no sport that guys play that women mm-hmm. don't play. So when you, say, for using basketball, ball, for example, like you got women who they ball, but they only ball against women. Mm-hmm. And that's how I would judge them. Like, she's a good female basketball player. I would judge most female basketball players like, then you a good female basketball player. But why, though? But then you got, like, Cheryl Swoops. <laughs> you got like Lisa Leslie where it's like, dude, you'd be stupid to even she can't even play with the females. She gotta play with <laughs> right, the right, 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 right. From right. the jump. Before you even as good as the females who are good. Right. You just got something about you that makes me just separate you and put you in the guys' game. Mm-hmm. Right? Just like so but Rhapsody happens, and Lauren, happens, I put them in the guys game. But what off happens back. with that? What happens with that is it's almost But I don't put Trina in there. I got it, but it's almost like saying and clear me up, like if you know, I'm just this is what I'm hearing. It's almost like saying, oh, you've made it to the next level, but you're just not as good as them. No, I'm saying you're making it to the next level where you can be, but you're not just you're not as good as them. To me, you're not in my top Okay, got it, got it, got it. But now, 
But I'm open to you being like I'm listening to but, your but, shit. But like, when you say when you say how you judge a female rapper, right? Right. You judging them on y'all got to be better than men, and I, I don't know one who has yet. No. Well, yeah, I, I got I got yes, you do because you got female rappers I'm in your top, top, the top twenty. I'm talking about the top. Right, right. right. So like, they're better than some guy who's at whatever you. Right, 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 right. Definitely right. in twenty one down. Right, right, right. right. So I got I, like Lauren Hill, wherever she is in my list, she killing some dude. Where is she in your list? She just on another. She on another list. Top what? So she not in. We talk top hip hop icons. Lauren Hill is in there for me. What does that mean? I don't. That mean like. I mean, I get. I, I, I got what uh, I mean, but I'm saying like. I feel like hip hop. We in two competitions. We in the hip hop in the competition of like. Within our own bubble, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Like it's all hip hop shit, and like, then you got that other. Now you servicing music bubble, like the world music, right? But what y'all recognize us for? But icon, but look, hip hop icon. If we're talking about okay, let's put like this. If we're talking about top hip hop icons, yeah. my whole list changes. Right. You yeah. just asked me where I had her. I said I'm not, right, right, not right, on right. that list. Okay. Okay. I don't know where she numbers yet. I know she's somewhere in my top. Is she but top? I took her off there. Is she thirty on now? We talking about rap shit, straight bars, rap, female rapper, on whatever, whatever. We're talking about people, humans who do who rap. Mm-hmm. Is she on the list anywhere? Top anything? Yeah, I don't know top what. Oh, you don't know where? Okay, but I know like you got twenty male rappers better than her. So maybe, so maybe she. Uh, uh, if she I'm just going past lyrics? thirty, straight lyrics. Yeah, she. So she might be fifty in your list. On down, might be hundred on down. Well, like I said, I don't. She's like, there. If I just, really just don't know where. If I just yeah. ju- judge her straight lyrics, yeah, like bars, yeah, then I don't. I don't know if she in my top fifty or whatever. You know okay. what I mean? But that's not what make the rappers dope to me. Like we talked about. I got, rap, I got, I got, I got that. So, I got so, that. Like, so that's what I'm saying. When you say icons, my whole everything changes because yeah. if we do top icons, Snoop is number one for me. Snoop is number one top hip hop icon. Yeah. 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 Who, who else would be? We can run these lists back. Who? Who would come close to that? I want to know just who come close. Fuck who, who, who people think number one is. Who uh, you think come close to that? Hope. Now, how? Hope is a world brand. Hope is recognized on a lot of levels. He's not Snoop, but he's not Hope. Snoop. Yeah, I know, but he's not well, <laughs> close. <laughs> right, right. I gotta pick somebody. <laughs> right, 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 right. You, but you agree Snoop is bigger than Hope in that in that in that in that in that, in that, in that case. Far- a general market brand? Hell yeah. Right, 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 right. He's a brand. Somebody had a conversation. This is how big Snoop is. And I'm not saying I'm not saying this is what I'm saying. I'm saying the fact that this was a conversation. Somebody asked, was Snoop bigger than Coca-Cola? That's how big Snoop is. The fact that that was a conversation from Snoop. <laughs> like when they start comparing you to shit. Like, Snoop is in the league. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like Snoop, Snoop is in the league with Muhammad Ali, Martin Luther King, and Jesus. Like names is gonna be brought up forever. That's it as fuck. It's it. Like it's when you it. run down the, when you run down the icon of all of these Snoop has done. Like Jordan. most people, most people at their biggest status haven't done half the shit he got on his list of achievements and things he's done. Like you know what I mean? Everything from gangster shit. We talking about like beat up murder case publicly to gospel reggae. The all these hip hop like TV shows, Martha Stewart, um, won all the awards, Hall of Fame, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, right? Right, right. is he rap, is Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. Like, you know, worldwide tours, all the songs, we, we hit don't records, have, we, don't have, like we don't have a Hall of Fame, huh? Rap? Hip-hop? No, no, no. Nah. God damn, cheap ass China. <laughs> yeah, we don't. And because we too busy uh, making the Grammys our Hall of Fame. <laughs> Next, we come back to this. <laughs> right, right, right. Hey, um, I want since we, it's funny you brought up Cheryl Swoops. I, I need to find. I don't want to talk about women on Marcus Miracle is mad at me and this and she got an arm shot. Look, oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry, Miracle. I respect Amen. all women except. <laughs> <laughs> See, I didn't say none of that. You done, Miracle? You done with us? Come on, come on. Don't even done with us, Ooh. y'all. I'm just asking. Like, don't, don't make it out, y'all. Him. Do anything, yeah, him. Do anything. <laughs> she gets so upset with me quick. Like I, she got the shortest. Well, you did a, offend women. When I, I offended women. You feel like I offended women? That's how you turn it. Well, you gotta ask a woman. Have you offended <laughs> women? You're, you're Usually, you offended women. <laughs> and when they don't answer, you know the answer. <laughs> okay. Sorry, all women. That's like woman sitting over here in the corner. You're like, what? Like, what? Are they? Like, dude. <laughs> 
Yeah, all right. right, we're not talking about women. Okay, good. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, we did want to ask you a hip-hop question. So we're on hip-hop still. I was asking y'all, what did y'all see hip-hop in 10 years, man? Um, where do we see 10 legs? You, you, oh. think, you, you, you think about odd futures. No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need a soundboard. I'm perfect years? on that. Uh, I ain't got that off. Dude, I'd have been fast you too. Bring that song, boy. <laughs> uh, it's still be existing. Where? Nigga. No. <laughs> In ten years? That's your answer? No. You know, I was getting ready to. You get you kind of jump. <laughs> you started there. Can you replace them? Can you get it off the show? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it'll be here, of course, but. The state, I think, let's say, what, who's our, our top MCs? We got Kendrick, Cole, Drake. Oh, God. Are those like our top three? Do we agree to that? Two chain. No, not Cole. Okay, so Kendrick and Drake. Mm-hmm. Kendrick and Drake. Those no, are, you know what? Let me shut up, man. It's not, it's not a top. Cole will be one of the top. So I wouldn't yeah. put Cole. I'll, I'll put Yeezy. I'm not even putting Yeezy in that tier. Why? Do you think Yeezy will be around in 10 years? Nigga, first of all, I'm a Yeezy or light, so I believe he'll be here no, for I'm done. 10 you got, years you got, and beyond. You got, you got it. I'm a Yeezy or light. Yes, bro. I don't think Yeezy will be around in you 10 crazy. years. You're crazy. You think Yeezy ain't going to be around making uh, soulful albums in 10 years? Yeezy might make a silent album. <laughs> Nigga, in 10 years, the I tag. Yeezy would do a whole album sampling only Yeezy. That's killer. That's killer if you did that. I would actually love it if we did that. Ten years come back, that the happens. type of the, uh, the type of dedication to such arrogance would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I would be I would be amazed of that alone. Yeezy sampling Yeezy. Yeezy sampling Yeezy. You serious? And then talks about how you sample Yeezy on there. Yes. Oh, let's get like, come on now. That's Please. the next way. Yeezy's next, nice. I call him Yeezy's nice. This, this is a, this is this is cut. You call him Jesus is nice. Yes. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh my but shit God. happens sometimes. But Jesus nice. What the yeah, fuck now, are now, you now doing? You go, you now you're alive. No, I did that. Now you go, oh shit. <laughs> I did that to my aunt. Yo. She was like, <laughs> she don't know what Jesus nice mean or about Kanye or nothing. She was like, I think he like Yahshua Ben Yoda. <laughs> Yahweh, he was in there coming in Yahweh. Like, oh, oh shit. shit. Duh. But anyway. So, 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 okay. I just think those dudes would be like in 10 years for the kids, the kids of the generation behind me, that'd be like their J in. You talking about uh, Kanye? No, talking about like Kendrick and Cole. Oh, right, 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 right. right, right. Like, that'd yeah, be, yeah, okay, okay. I got those would be right. like, like RJs yeah, and yeah. shit like that in 10 years. Nigga, in 10 years, Kanye would be a 27 year old megastar. Ask me how you do it, I can't tell you. That, that's this, easy. I don't this type of fandom <laughs> is more like This is crazy. Hey, dude, I just waited out of storm. You just lowered his age. Yeezy will do it. Like, oh, Yeezy, Yeezy will do Yeezy it. Got younger. It's funny. <laughs> oh, the oh, button Yeezy album. Got younger. The button album. And you come like, I'm getting younger, dog. Like, <laughs> and really do it. And somebody gonna argue your comments about. No, I'm telling you, he really did. <laughs> <laughs> he actually was younger on the uh, on the graduation album. If you listen, like what? You know what's crazy? A nigga will break down them lyrics, and I'll break down some old lyrics and tell you how Yeezy been told us that. That's right. how fans are. Well, that's what's in his music. Let me ask you this. It's him. <laughs> it's <laughs> him. <laughs> it's him who would do that. Now, it's about to get deep, right? Not really, but let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. If Beyonce said what Lil Uzi said, what happened <laughs> Oh, man, I wish Miracle was talking right now. I would want her to answer that. But... <laughs> I feel like she already says that. But oh. I, did you see? Okay, have you went on? By Drew, what do you mean, dude? There's a Church of Beyonce. Have you seen that? I have not seen that. There's a fucking Church of Beyonce. So don't tell me I can't be a Israelite. There's a Church of Beyonce. Wait. They go meet up. We need an intern. Please. <laughs> to, 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 yeah. Look that up, bro. Church of Beyonce. They go. They meet there. They do Beyonce songs. They it's a, there's a, there's there's preaching there's a whole choir there's a there's a service, please, I'm trying to tell you. 
Okay, now about the question I asked. So, <laughs> so if she had did it, people would die. In San Francisco and Atlanta and Mass. What I'm trying no. to tell you. <laughs> what? I'm saying she already. It's already the rapture when you're following Beyonce. Look up the rapture. Hey, yo. That flowing this is long real? hair and the white dress, that's a Beyonce outfit. This is real? This stop. Is... I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to do that one. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, you blown away now. Finding God at Beyonce match. People are going to church to worship Beyonce in San Francisco. Okay. Beyonce match right. is happening at San Francisco's Grace Cathedral for worshipers of Queen B. Caught up. <laughs> Caught up in the rapture. Yeah. Niggas is going up beyond her. Oh <laughs> wow! Come on, so yo, y'all tripping off a little Uzi. Above and Beyonce. Above and Beyonce. Beyonce. Wow. Come on, man. Yo, it's probably so many bitches in this church. Oh, excuse me. They got nine hundred worshippers and counting. I was service. Yeah, I'm, I don't even want to touch the fucking them wrong. <laughs> What do y'all say, fam? Have you? Would you go there? I'm not a Beyonce stan. I I, I said fan, but you know. Yeah. Are you Are you a Beyonce fan? She's are you cool. Are you part of the Beehive? No, she ain't fuck with Beyonce. If a friend said, Are you fuck with? Sister? Check out the church. Would you go? It's a difference. Definitely. It's a major difference. Major difference. It's a major difference. She's eclectic, so you never know what she's doing. If If a friend invited you to church, would you go? Cause it's basketball. Okay, let me ask you this though. If a friend invited you to church, Beyonce and you did go. go. No. Oh. Invited you to church and you did go, and then you get in there and you found out it was Beyonce church. <laughs> <laughs> then would you leave? Mm. We'll wait for you to come. Well, uh, for for one, I probably wouldn't go to a church if someone invited me. Mm. Okay. That's the first thing. I wouldn't okay, even have it. gotten in that situation. Got it, got it, got it, okay, got it, got it. But in general, if I was tricked into being there. And found out that it was a Beyonce church. <laughs> I would stick around just so just I could see, see what exactly. the fuck they're doing. I would like, have to know. Praise and worship is lit. Right. Like communion. I'm curious. Do we get you know I some real good about wine? To say, and, you I know what I mean? Like communion. How far are we going with this? What is this bottle? Drunken love. Sweat. You know what no. I mean? Are we? Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah! I might get the Holy Ghost. Do you know any Beyonce song? This looks good. Not really. The like, sweat of Beyonce. Because here's the here's that's here's, bottled. Here's, like it's here's aged. the catch. So you go with a friend to the church on accident. I know mm-hmm. where you're going. Mm-hmm. You get there. It's the Beyonce church. They're going up. You know the songs. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know the songs. Like I know the last time I went to church, I was like, "What are these songs?" Like everybody got the what is it? Right, right, right. Somebody pass me the lyrics. Like, right. where do I download the, the lyrics? Hymn book. Right, right, right. But you're in Beyonce church. Right when you think you want to leave, you start knowing the words. You catch the Beyonce uh-huh. spirit. Like, do you stay and do the songs you know and give up a free, like, wow. karaoke concert? Or do you just stand on your, your religious Jesus principles and get out the building because you're not supposed to be worshiping false idols? <laughs> Oh, I'm only gonna touch that. I had a great joke just now. Bro. <laughs> you go, dude. I can imagine. I'm about to get out of here. I feel like it ain't You niggas is crazy. I need to get away from you. Uh oh. Like, you can't leave. It's you and twelve gay niggas doing. Uh oh. oh. You can't leave. You can't, can't leave. Why, where 12 gay niggas come from? Oh, you didn't watch the video. You see, you thought I was being a No, no, no. I, no, I, I said, what? What you are you talking about? I'm so lost. It's a video of 12. You're right. Dude, this That's, is not a room they playing Beyonce in a concert where it's not 12 gay dudes. Disciples are gay in Beyonce church? So, some of them. You yeah. said 12. We just. Uh, so, the 12. <laughs> what? <laughs> no! You're wrong. You can't say the 12 disciples. I thought you said the 12 disciples. Dicks. Dicks. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what you said. Turn your mic off. Turn your mic off. It's over. This show is over. Thank you for tuning in to the Overrated True Podcast. Uh, Give our social media. Give our social media. I'm done. Hey, if you go on Google and look at Logo Arts, I'm going to the IG and everything. Yo. 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 That's it. We're exiting. Hey. Shut up. Yo. Uh.
Our, our Instagram is overrated truth. Our uh, Twitter is overrated T R U pod. Our email is overrated truth. Uh, if you overrated want, truth if pod you, at gmail.com. If you follow com. Beyonce, you feel free to go to at bad luck three five four <laughs> to leave your comments, or go to our YouTube channel and leave your comments, and we will side with you. Uh, uh, oh, shit, it, I don't even know what to say. Twelve dick signs. Oh, yeah. Uh, come on, X this out. All right, man. You already know the deal, man. <laughs> <laughs> There's three sides to the story, man. All of them true. This is the Overrated Truth Podcast. See you next week. Oh, oh. <laughs>